big. And it's closer than you think. It's not a tournament. It's what you don't see on TV. The cash is real. The stakes are high. They bet big. They win big. They lose big. High stakes live action poker. Live at the bike. Watch it live on the web. Or play it if you dare. At the Bicycle Casino right here in Los Angeles. Hello everyone and welcome to Live at the Bike brought to you by the Bicycle Casino in Los Angeles, California. The first and only webcast of real action cash game poker. My name is Bart Hansen. I'm on the solo mission here tonight. Dave Tuckman is not with me. I tried the solo mission. It kind of reminds me of when I was 22 heading up the bar scene in Boston as a bachelor. Well, we're going to do a little $500 no limit hold'em. 510 blinds, unrestricted buy-in. It's usually a pretty big game. So let's head over to the table and let's get into the action. Here we go. I'm going to start off the night by introducing the table over there in seat number one. Of course, we've got the host of the game. That's Mo. There he is. Seat number two, we've got Mike. Seat number three, another live at the bike familiar place. It's Gore sporting a Lakers jersey. Seat number four is currently vacant right now. It is locked up. We'll have a player in there in a second. Seat number five is Ray. He is new to the show. There's Ray in seat five. That's actually Roy, excuse me, Roy in seat five. Seat number six is Tony. Tony is a recreational poker player, likes to come down to the casino and have a good time. Seat number seven, we've got Matt. There's Matt. He's Roswell on 2 Plus 2. Oftentimes he will post up in the forum over on 2 Plus 2. He's now playing poker full time. In seat number eight, we've got Dimitri. There he is. Seat number eight. He's new to the show as well. And in seat number nine, he's been on a couple of shows, a couple of times on the show. That's Alex. And there we go. Again, we're going to be playing 5-10 no limit. It's an unrestricted buy-in game. The minimum buy-in for the game is 500. The yellow chips that we use are $5 chips. And the purples are 25. So the white chips are $100 chips. Looks so like we're going to get into the first hand of the night right now. Three-way action. And uh, Roswell made a raise here with Ace Rag from the button. Ace 7 off suit. And it's going to get checked around. Well, the turn is seven, and that's Matthew Roswell. Sometimes I'll use that name interchangeably. He actually has, looks like he's got the best hand now with a pair of sevens. He also has the seven of spades draw to the flush. Actually, excuse me, look at this. Tony has actually turned to straight. He has turned to straight. He was he had a gut shot. He bets 50, and Matt is going to call him here with a seven, with the seven of spades, and Tony is going to need to dodge a spade here. And the river is a spade, and Matthew has the best hand with the flush. But Tony's going to bet again. He's going to bet 100. 105 here. He bet the turn, and Matthew's got a very small flush here, and you can see he kind of looks a little bit bewildered by the river bet. I'm trying to figure out if Tony is making a bluff. Pot's about 250. It's only about 105 to call now. And Matt is going to make the call. And I think Tony knows he's beat. Tony has a straight, but Matthew has got the seven of spades for the flush. And he's going to take down the first hand of the night. As always, we'd love to keep the show interactive. You can email me at liveatthebike.com with your questions, comments, and suggestions. You can also head over to 2plus2, 2plus2.com. Head over to the forum section under Tournament Poker, World Poker Tour, etc. Official Live the Bike thread for March 23rd. Button's going to move over here to seat number eight. And Matt has got a nice little hand here from late position. He's got ace queen. He's going to raise it up to 30 here out of seat seven. Now Mo has got eight three of diamonds in the blind, and Mo's going to give him that action here. Eight three of diamonds against the ace queen here. About a sixty-five dollar pot heads up. Flop comes king queen six. And Mo's going to come out and bet here. Actually, Matt, Mo made the check call there. Looks like Matt bet about fifty. Mo called. The turns a seven. Matt bets fifty again, and Mo folds. Interesting. Mo called that flop, perhaps trying to set up a play. 
And Matt's going to take it down there, and the button's going to move over here to seat number nine. If anyone uh, head over to 2 Plus 2, take a look at my conclusion post from last night. It looks like the guy that starts our thread, Kev Matt, put it up in the opening post tonight. We are dealing with some streaming issues as we grow in our audience. If you just bear with us for about a week, we are going through some upgrades, and you can always watch the show on a replay. It replays 24-7 starting an hour after the show. And you most likely will not have problems watching that during the replay. Straddled pot here by Gore. And we got five-way action, so it's a straddle. It's 20 to call. So it's a $100 pot here. The flop comes out ace, king, ten. And there's a lot of low cards out here. This did not hit anybody in a big way. And Matt's going to bet $10 into a $100 pot here. Matt's got, uh, he's got five, six over there in seat seven. And we're heads up. The turn is a 10. Alex called with nine, 10, and now he's hit trips. Matt's going to now bet 20 here. And Alex is just going to call here with trip 10s. And the river's a nine, and Alex fills up. And Matt has just put a little bluff bet out. He's going to give up now. And I'm sure that Alex is going to make a bet here with his full house on the river. He does. He's going to bet 60 into a pot that's about 180 right now. And Matt shows the bluff. And Alex is going to take it down there. Look at that. Ace is full of eights. Little full house there. On his shirt. I want to welcome everyone for joining us. It was a very exciting night last night. Kenna James finally booked a winning session, and it was great. We saw a big hand between the grinder. Michael Mizraki was on the show. Um, against, of course, the lovable Barry Woods. Those two were button heads all night long. Very, very interesting stuff. If you missed that show, the show also reruns Sunday at noontime all the way through the entire week. And that particular show will be on right around, I want to say, maybe 9 o'clock Pacific time on Sunday night. Roy is going to raise here with pocket aces out of seat 5. Looks like he made it uh, maybe 40 or 50 here. Tony's going to call in seat 6 with a king deuce, and Gore's going to see the connector over there in the blind. Here we go to the flop. King 8-9 with a couple of clubs. Now Tony's got King Rag. Is he going to get involved? Roy was the pre-flop razor here. And he's going to bet. And look at Tony. Tony moves all in here with top pair, weak kicker. And it's only another 130 here back to Roy. So I think this is going to be an easy call for Roy. He's probably getting about 4 to 1 on his money. It's another 130 to call. He's got aces. And Roy is going to make the call here. We've got ourselves about a six or seven hundred dollar pot here going to the turn. The turn's a deuce. Tony's hit two pair. Now Roy's got clubs for the draw, but King Deuce is going to take it down. What a suck out! Tony's going to turn over that hand. Turn it over, Tony. You got the winner. King Deuce is good. There it is. Nice hand there for Tony in seat six. Going to double through. You said it. I knew it was coming, but he had clubs out there. And uh, Gore had the six, seven of hearts. And I think he made a gut shot on the river there for the, for the uh, nine eye straight. Button's going to move over here to seat number two. Limp, limp here. Limped around here five ways, and it's going to be a $50 pot, five times 50. Ace, six, ace here. Now, seat number six, Tony, has got trip aces. And Gore is going to come out and bet here as a total bluff. He's got eight, five off suit. Gore comes out and bets, and Tony's going to raise him right away with uh, trip aces. He makes it seven. He's going to mini raise, and Gore is going to be done with the hand there. Again, he's bet out with eight, five off suit. And Tony's going to take it down. Again, as always, you can email us at livethebike.com. You can check out our MySpace page, the name Live at the Bike. Add us to your friends list or request us as friends. You can also Skype us. Go to skype.com 
download their software, you can send us a voicemail. Skype is an interesting little tool. Talked about this with our tech guy Isaac many times. Kind of a voicemail through computer type deal. Cheaper than long distance. Button's gonna move over here to Gore in C3. And he's gonna raise it up to 55 years. Got Queen 6 off suit. Tony's gonna call here with King 9. And uh, Alex is going to call with that hand that you won a pretty big pot with earlier in the night, 9-10. So we're going to see about a $165 pot going three ways. Ace, Jack, 7 with a couple parts. Looks like Gore's actually got Queen, 7. So he's got bottom pair here. And he's going to continue. He's going to bet 75. Looks like he actually has the best hand here with bottom pair. Tony's not going to get involved. Now Alex has got a gut shot here to be 8. Not very valuable. And he's going to fold. And Gore's going to take it down. Nice hand there for Gore. Anybody that used to watch the show way back when, over a year ago, Gore was one of our originals on the show. Along with uh, Jonas and West Hollywood Henry, as we like to call him. Button's going to move over here to seat five. That's Roy. Big line here is Matt. Raise it. We're going to see a little raise here from Dimitru out of seat 8. He's going to raise with a little gap-suited connector, 4-6 of spades. Now Alex is going to call with pocket deuces. It was just a little $30 bet. Sometimes we call this kind of a stop raise. You know, you make this raise so that nobody else re-raises you, and you kind of price yourself into the pot. Now Matt's got ace-king, and he's just going to make the call here on the big blind out of position. So we're going to say six-way action here, about a $180 pot. Dimitru, the mini razor under the gun in C8. Flop comes up, king, jack, eight, all hearts. Now Matthew's got top pair, ace, king, with the nut flush draw in seat seven, but he checked it. Matthew checked it from up front, and this one looks like it's going to get checked around, and it does. The turn's a five, and Matthew still has the best hand. And now Tony's going to come out and lead with ace seven with the seven of hearts, drawing totally dead. He's going to bet 40. Let's see if Matt might raise it up here a little bit, and he does. He's going to make it 125, kind of a little mini raise. Gore's got pocket threes over there. He's going to get out of the hand. And again, we can see if Tony makes this call, he's drawing stone cold dead to Matt here. Matthew has the hand won right now if Tony continues with the hand. And Tony is going to make the call here. And the pot is going to be about $450. Makes the call. And again, we've got about a $400, $50 pot going to the river. And the river's a heart, and is this going to get Tony involved? Tony checks. Again, the pot's about 450. And for Matt, it's time to value bet here. Trying to figure out how much he's going to bet. And he's going to over bet the pot here. Remember, and look at this. He induces Tony to make that call. Unbelievable. He over bets the pot to 500, and he takes it down there with a the nut flush. What a great over bet there by Roswell. Again, Roswell 2 plus 2 and Matt there, and he's going to take down about a $1,500 pot there with the nut flush. You can take a look at his eyes there. <laughs> but he's going to move over here to seat 6. Tony, want to add? So is there a producer somewhere? Seat 4 here is Nicholas. Oh, and there's a microphone. Button's going to move over to Matt. A new player in the game, Nicholas, in C4. Ace King suited here in the big blind. And C2 is going to bring this one in for a little race of 25 with Queen 9 offsuit. Matt is going to call here with a 5 3 offsuit. Seat 8 here is going to call, and let's see what Alex is going to do with Big Slick suited in the big line. He's going to raise that little mini re-raise. He's going to re-raise here. And it looks like he's going to make it 
Looks like maybe uh, 55 more here. That gets the original Razor out of the hand in C2. Now, Matt, he's trying to take a look at how deep Alex is over here. He's got five three off suit. He folds. But Dimitri is going to make the call. And again, we've got over a $200 pot here going heads up to the flop. Well, there's the ace. Dimitri's got bottom pair, not necessarily the type of flop you're looking for with 6 7. And Alex is going to make the continuation bet here with top pair. He's going to bet 120, about half the size of the pot, a little more than half the size of the pot. And you can see kind of Dimitri looking over at him, trying to get a read here. Oh, look, they missed all this. I mean, the only thing that you could ever be ahead of right now would be King Queen, and King Queen would have a straight draw. I mean, Alex raised it out of the big blind. I mean, what possibly could you beat with 6 7 here? But he makes the call. And the pot is over $500. The turn's a 9. It's a third diamond. Can Dimitri represent diamonds here? He's going to check. And Alex is going to keep the pot a little bit small. He checks right behind him. The river's a 3. Alex checked behind there, a little bit of pot control. Now he's induced this bluff on the river. I would assume if it's a reasonable sized bet, he's probably going to call here and hope the guy doesn't have a flush. And look at this, he's going to bet here. Dimitri's going to bet 250. He's betting half the size of the pot. The pot's about 750 now. Alex is getting 3 to 1 on his money, 250 to call. I mean, you figure, what did the guy call me on with on the flop? Now, this is a great instance of talking about pot control with a single pair. If you do check the turn here with top pair, top kicker, you run the risk of a, a fourth diamond coming out in the river if you don't have a diamond. You also run the risk of, of this guy betting into you and not having the best hand. But Alex is going to make the call. And Alex is going to take down a $1,000 pot there with ace-king. Nice hand there for Alex. Button's going to move over here to seat eight. You made a bit of a comeback. Sure. Huh? You made a bit of a comeback on the other table. Is more coming back right away? Again, you can email us at live at thebike.com with your questions, comments, suggestions. As always, and again, if you are again having streaming problems, be patient with us. Pocket Kings here for seat five. And he's going to raise it up here to 50. He's going to raise to 50 here. Seat eight here is going to call with nine six suited. And uh, Gore's in here with five four off suits. So it's a $150 pot going three ways. Queen five queen here on the flop. Not a bad flop for Kings. And he's going to bet, looks like 100 here, with his kings. Now, again, Gore is in there with 5-4. He's got, and the flop is queen, 5, queen here. So Gore has a pair of fives. Roy's in there with kings, and Gore's got fives. And uh, it looks like that Gore, he's making a check race. He's going to make a mini check race here. 100 more with 4-5. Now, it doesn't look like Roy has much left, and he's going to move all in. Looks like he only has got about 125 left here. And now for Gore, I, I guess you figure, could the guy be doing that with, with, with diamonds? It looks like it's about 150 more. 130 more, and Gore feels like you know, he might be pop Well, he hasn't made the call yet. 150 more here. The pot's about $500. It's about a $500 pot, and Gore is not going to call. And Roy is going to take it down there. Nice hand there for Roy. Small blind over here in uh, seat number two. Big blind in seat three. 
Seat number seven here is going to raise it up to 20 bucks. And we're going to see three way action here. Ace nine eight here. Alex here has got top pair. Now Matthew would raise it here with nine four off suit. He's going to bet fifty. He's trying to really mix up his game here. And it looks like Alex is going to raise it, and he does. He makes it a hundred more, and Matthew is going to be done with the hand here. It's going to move over here to uh, seat number two. Getting a little information about Nick over there in seat four. You know, one of the only, before No Limit was commonly spread in a casino, um, there was a pot limit game that went on town in another casino, and Nick used to play in that game a lot. Very aggressive, I get word. Buttons over here in seat two. Ace King here for seat two on the button. And it looks like he's going to raise. He's going to raise it up here to 70. And Nick is going to make the call here. Nick makes the call. We cannot see his cards. He needs to show us his cards in C4. We know that Mike has Ace King. We cannot see what Nick has. Nick has got pocket jacks here. He made a smooth call with jacks. And the flop comes out 8 3 8 with a couple diamonds. And look at this. The button's going to make a continuation bet here with Ace King. He's going to bet 175. Now, Nick has got an overpair to this board. And he just makes a smooth call. The turn is a six here. Pot's about 500 bucks here, folks. And now, he's going to throw in a little bet here on the turn. He check called the flop, and now he's going to put on kind of a little defensive bet in here on the turn. He's going to bet 125 here on the turn. I saw a hand go up and a hand come down. See, two thought that Nick had checked, but Nick is going to throw a little bet in here, and that's going to be enough to do it here, folks. He takes it down. Nice kind of way to start off the night here, as always. The button's going to move over here to C3. That's four. Yeah, we're playing 5, 10, no limit here, folks. Yellow chips are $5 chips. Purples are $25 chips. Thank you. Live straddle here. Looks like by by Matt here. Yeah, Matt is going to straddle here in seat seven. Uh, there's something wrong here at the table. Yeah. Matt cannot straddle here because I think the button's in C3. Right. So you're first half. Yeah, take it back. Now you're first half. So he, Matt cannot straddle, and Tony is under the gun here in seat six. Tony's going to limp in. Okay. <laughs> and Matt is just going to put a little mini raise in here like he was going to straddle anyway, so 20 bucks. He actually has a six off suit. Mo's going to call with the 63 of clubs here, and Gore is going to raise. He's going to make it 100 to go. He's got jack 10 of clubs. Matt folds, and so is Mo's going to fold as well here with six three clubs. Gore shows the jack of clubs, and he's going to take it down there. 
No, no, I got somebody to take care of it. No, no, I already did. I just want to make sure. Uh, Again, you can watch us in every show we have ever done on the archives by clicking on the archive demand or the on demand banner on the upper left hand corner of your screen at livethebike.com. Thanks for me thinking. We've had Barry Greenstein in here, Doyle Brunson in here, we've had the grinder in here, Kenna James. Look at those thousand dollar chips there in front of Nicholas. Those are thousand dollar chips there, folks. He probably has got about six thousand in front of him over there in C4. Straddled pot here by Matt. And it's going to get limped around. Matt's going to have the option here. And we're going to see it four ways times 20, so it's an $80 pot here going to the flop. Three four deuce with a couple of diamonds. Pocket sevens here on the button. Nick has the over pair. And he's going to bet 50 here. It doesn't look like anyone has any part of this to make this call unless they're going to make a move on Nick. But Tony's going to make the call with over cards. He's going to make the call with King nine. Wow. And Gore also makes the call with over cards in a wheel draw. Gore's got backdoor diamonds in a wheel draw to the five. And the turn's a five. Now, Gore's got what we call the ass end of the straight here. He can't be comfortable with his hand. Anybody with a six would have a straight. And it gets checked around. And the river's a king. And now Tony hits top pair. But it is a one-liner out there to a straight. Pot's about $230 here. Tony's about $1,000 behind. And Tony's going to bet 75 here. With top pair, it is a one-liner to a straight. And Gore's going to call. Gore has the ace, and Nick cannot overcall here with pocket sevens. And Gore's good. Glad to see that people are back here. If you're having a little bit of streaming issues in the beginning. Again, I want to talk about what I've said before, that you can always catch us on a rerun. If you're having a little bit of trouble with us watching us live, we are going through some changes here over the next week as we grow on the show with our viewership. And anybody that's been with us for since the beginning for a year realizes that we've never had any type of problems for the first year. And this is just kind of a recent occurrence, and we are aware of it, and we are working on it. Button's going to move over here to seat five. Live straddle here by seat eight, pocket sixes. Gore's going to call with nine, ten of clubs. Nick calls here with ace four clubs. And we're going to see straddle pot here times five. So it's a hundred dollar pot here as we go to the flop limped around. Queen seven four. Nobody's got a queen. It's going to get checked over to Nick. And Nick is going to come out and bet here with ace four. He's got bottom pair. He's going to bet in position. Dimitru's got the best hand here with sixes, but there's two over cards. Tony folds, Matt folds. And Dimitru's going to check raise with pocket sixes. He's going to make it 200 here. Nick is trying to look over at his stack. Obviously, you know, Nick is actually beaten here, but Dimitri, I think he, you know, he's trying to make a play, he doesn't believe Nick, and Dimitri actually has a better hand. That's about $400, and it's going to be, I believe, 110 more for Nick to call here. And Nick is thinking about it. He's going to fold it. And Dimitri is going to take it down there with pocket sixes. Turn would have been a three. River would have been a queen. Sixes would have held up there. Where is Dave Tuckman tonight anyways? I mean, you would think that he would have told him last night. <laughs> he wasn't going to be here. Apparently, I guess he had some sort of family function that he couldn't get out of. You know that those family functions are never planned. Like, you don't necessarily have, you know, more than 12 hours of notice. The, the, the button's going to move over here to seat six. Yeah, maybe it's his gay dog's birthday. I know. Ace, king of diamonds here for seat two. And Mike is going to race. He's going to make it 45. Yeah, 27 4 with the board. 45 to go here. With big, slick diamonds. 
And again, Nick is new to this show, so he's have struggling here with his car a bit. He's got he's got a suited connector. He's gonna make the call. Again, he's got six, seven of diamonds, and Mike's got ace king. So we got a hundred dollar pot here going heads up. Nick against Mike. And look at this. Now, Mike is hit top pair with ace king, but Nick has a flush draw. And Mike's going to bet 100 here. He's going to bet the pot. See how Nick is going to finagle this one. He's just going to make the call here in position. The turn's a three. Nick still just has a flush draw here, a dry flush draw. And now Mike's going to bet 300. And I think that Nick is probably going to get away from this one. And he does. And Mike is going to take it down there with Big Slick. Top pair, top kicker on the flop. Again, you can email us at liveatthebike.com with all your questions, comments, suggestions. Keep this show interactive by going to 2plus2.com spelled out. Go over to forums, World Poker Tour, etc. Live at the Bike thread for March 23rd. Pocket kings here for Mo in seat one. He's under the gun. And he's going to raise it up to 50. Two purple chips. Those purple chips are $25 chips. And look at this. We got pocket aces for seat nine. Seat five's going to call with ace jack of clubs. Matt is going to call with a gap suited connector on the button with five seven of spades. And Alex has got aces. And he looks like he's going to re raise here. And these guys are pretty deep, Alex and Mo. This one's going to be interesting, folks. And he's going to re-raise. He's going to make it 300 more. And let's see what Mo's going to do. And Mo's going to move all in. Mo has moved all in. And unless Mo gets lucky, he's going to get felted here, folks, because Alex has got aces. And this pot... Again, it's going to be about a $4,000 board run. I mean, Mo's got about 2000 and Alex has him covered. Wow. They're talking about making a deal here. Again, it's Alex with aces against Mo with kings. And they're going to run it twice here, folks. So we're going to chop the pot in half, and they're going to run the board twice. We can see that one of the aces is already dead. Well, there is the case ace. Now, Mo's got a straight draw to the jack. A king or a jack. Well, that's... Alex is going to win the first one, and we're going to do the second run here. No help here. Mo's got spades. He needs a king and a king only, and it doesn't come. And Mo has gone broke. And Mo was about, I want to say, he was about 2000 to 2500 behind. And Alex wins over a $5,000 pot there. Aces against kings. Wow. What a hand. I wanted you to pick up the draw. And I assume that Mo is going to rebuy. Interesting post here on 2 Plus 2. They say that SP Surf and Michael is doing the streaming dance, kind of like the rain dance. <laughs> the butt moves over here to seat 8. And Nick is going to come in for a raise here out of seat 4. He's got 5 3 off suit. Mo's going to play two grand behind here. So a raise here by three five off suit by Nick. And the button is going to call with seven ten off suit. And Mo's in there with ace five off suit. Three way action here. About a $150 pot. And the flops missed everybody. Can Nick continue with the follow continuation bet? He does not. It gets checked around the turns of three. And now Nick has the best hand, and it gets checked around again, and the river's an eight. But Nick has the best hand with a pair of threes. Wow. He raised it with three five, did not make that continuation bet. Takes down about a $150 pot there with three five. Oh, TV. I want to look like a superstar. Yeah, it's not a raise. Thank you. That's not a raise. Do you owe me 30 or anything? What a hand there by Alex and Mo. Start off the night here with aces against kings. Again, if anyone's got a MySpace page, you can head over there and add us as one of your friends. We're playing 510 No Limit Holding here. 
Uncapped buy-in, $500 minimum. Yellow chips are $5 chips. And purples are 25s. Whites are hundreds in those big green ones in Nick's hands over in C4 at thousands. We're going to get our first chip count of the night here soon, I believe. Interesting that uh, LSU upset Duke. And actually, something I didn't mention is we see a $90 raise here by Mo. He's going to make it 85 with ace jack off suit from the small blind. Gore's going to call with pocket sixes. Nick is in there with pocket tens. Tony's got an ace rag he might call. He's thinking about it over there in seat six. He's going to call. He's dominated. Seat eight calls. And Alex Mux. So we are going to see $90, five wicks, $450 pot, Mo the pre-flop raiser out of the blind with ace jack. Well, he flops a jack here, and he's got the best hand. Now, Nick is open-ended with pocket tens. And Mo's going to bet 250 here. 250 into a $450 pot. And what is Nick going to do? He's got two people behind him. Tony and Dimitri have both totally missed. And he's going to make the call with the open-ended straight draw. It's a rainbow board. Pot is now approaching $1,000 here, folks. And we're heads up, tens against Ace Jack. The turn's a deuce. That's a good card for Mo. And Mo's going to bet a little bit again. He's going to put 250 into about a $1,000 pot. And might Nick kind of sense some weakness here? Might he come over the top? Nick's got $1,000 chips there to the right of his yellow chips there, folks. He's about 5000 behind. Pot is now about 1200 It's 250 for Nick to call. Mo raised it out of the blind, led on the flop. Nick called, and now he's bet a real small amount on the turn with Ace Jack. You can see the percentages there. Mo's about a a, uh, a three to one favorite with one card to come, and Nick is going to make the call here. It looks like he makes the call, and we're talking about over a fifteen hundred, about a fifteen hundred dollar pot here to the river, and the river's a queen, and Nick has made it. Mo is checked, and Mo can really beat almost nothing now. Again, it's a fifteen hundred dollar pot. And Nick is going into his thousand dollar chips here. He's gonna bet a thousand. And Mo folds. And Nick is gonna take it down there with his straight. You know, I didn't get into it last night. But I gotta tell you. The Patriots lost Adam Vinatieri? Are you kidding me? How did that happen? Daniel Jack leaves Indianapolis. How on earth did the Patriots let go of the best place kicker of all time? I mean, how much has Vinatieri done for that organization? It's unbelievable. Wow. I mean, he's definitely going to be in the Hall of Fame. He made that huge kick against those pussy-ass Raiders back in 2003. Or no, it was 2001 in that snowball game. <laughs> the button's going to move over here to C1, Mo. He's got ace six of clubs. Matthew's got an ace queen of hearts, and he's going to bring this one in for a raise on seat seven. $90. He's going to make it 90 to go here with ace queen of hearts. we got a lot of high Broadway out here. It's amazing. Ace queen suited, king queen suited, king jack suited, queen jack off suit. Chances are this flop's going to come low. Gore's going to make the call here with King uh, uh, King Jack suited. And Nick is going to make the call here with uh, King Queen. And I got to tell you, when I looked at these cards, I think all this Broadway is dead. I don't think there's any chance that we are going to see Broadway on this flop. We've got about a $300 pot here going to the flop. And there it is, it's Rats. See if Matthew can make a continuation bet here in position. It's a $300 pot. And he is not going to fire at it. The turn's a deuce. Matthew still has the best hand here with Ace Queen. Now, Gore's picked up a flush draw. Is he going to fire into it? No, he's not. Gore checks. Nick bets 125 in here. He's going to bet one and a quarter. 
You see that chip tower over there by Matthew again. He's Roswell on two plus two. Or picked up this flush draw. And he's just going to make it looks like just a check call. Pot's over 500, and the river's a seven, and king queen is good. And you know, if Gore checks it, Nick might think he has to bet here to win. And he's going to bet 125 here again. He bets 125, making the pot about 700, 125 to call, and he's got the winner. You know, I kind of would like to see Gore maybe throw in a check raise or a bet on the turn as opposed to just the check call. And Nicky's going to take it down there with the king queen. I thought that was six. Six with ten on top. Six and a six and a ten. Button's going to move over here to seat two. Got this post up here on, by Jay Siegel on two plus two. It says, Bart, I believe Tuck is absent because he heard the news that Helmuth got the commentator job at the Celebrity Poker Show now. Are you kidding me? Helmuth? Oh. All right, let's take a look at the first chip comp here of the night. We've got, wow, this is a pretty big 5-10 game here, folks. And we've got, what is it, six, seven people with over 2,000 on the table. Six people. It's about 25,000 on the table. Let's take a look at the differences here from about about five minutes before the show. Look at Alex, he's up 2,400, and Mo is down. He's down 1,500. Look at this, Roy's got pocket aces here. This is the second time for him. And he raised it up here, I believe it was only to 50, and he gets called in two spots. Lock comes up, king, king, 10 here. And Roy's gonna continue to bet 100 here. And Gore's open-ended. He is going to make the call. Two players. The turn is a seven. That's no help for Gore. Check, check, and the river's an eight. So Roy checked the turn there with aces. And is Gore going to try to bluff at it here? He is. He's going to bet 200. Now, again, kind of another instance of a little bit of pot control there by aces. Didn't want to make that pot big with two kings out there. Now, what do you think the Gore check called the flop with? Could he have done it with Queen Jack? In this case, he did. When you check the turn with a hand that you're trying to control pot size with, you sometimes have to be prepared to call the river because you've induced this bluff. And he does make the call here for 200. And he's going to take it down there with aces. And that pot's going to be about 700 bucks. Nice hand there for Roy. And Roy is up quite a, as much, quite a lot tonight as well. Look at this, we got a Skype message here from Mike Z from Hong Kong. He says, Bart and Dave, the entire team at Live Bike, you guys are awesome. We don't get poker on TV out, TV out here in Hong Kong. So you guys are a godsend. I'm telling everyone about you guys out here. Keep up the good work. Well, thank you, Mike Z. And of course, you can tell all your friends over there. You guys are probably somewhere around, what, 17, 18 hours ahead of us? That you can always watch the replay. It runs 24-7. You don't necessarily have to sh sh watch the show live. Live straddle here by Tony. And uh, we got a little raise here to 60 by seat 2 with King Queen off suit. And Tony's going to call with Queen 3. And we are heads up here. King Queen against Queen 3. The flop comes out 996 with a couple clubs. Tony's going to check it. Can Mike continuation bet here in position? He does not. The turn's an eight. Tony checks again. And Mike checks again. And the river's an ace. And it's a third club. Can somebody represent? Everybody checks. And King Queen's going to take it down there. There you go. Again, Tony in seat six, he's a recreational player. He is not a professional poker player. He's a businessman. He comes down to have a lot of fun. One of the nicest guys you'd ever meet. Seat number six, Tony. Button's going to move over here to seat number four. And Matt is going to straddle here. So we get a straddle pot. You can take a look at our website, liveofthebike.com, and go over to as seen at on Live of the Bike for kind of a definition of terms if you don't know what a straddle is. Look at this tone. Uh, the button is just going to call with ace nine of hearts here. 
Just an open call on the button is straddle pot. And Tony's going to raise here to 60 with big slick. Matt's out of there. And Nick here is going to come in with a dominated ace nine in position. About a $140 flop here, heads up. And look at that, an ace comes off. Now, is Nick going to get heavily involved here? Tony bets 100. And Nick makes the call. About a $300 pot to the turn. The turn's the case ace here, folks. Oh, wow. And Tony's going to come out and bet again with ace king. Looks like four. 400 here. He's going to bet 400. The case ace on the turn. And Nick has got himself in a world of hurt here. He's out kicked with trip aces. Wow. And I don't think Tony has that much behind. And I don't know if Nick's trying to pull an act here. You know, if Tony doesn't have that much behind, Nick might just put them all in here. We'll see. What a turn card here. And this would be at one hell of a lay down here, folks. Sometimes you get involved here. Remember, we talked about it, the ace rag suited. And you get trip aces, you don't know if you're good. Now he is heads up. And Tony's come up and bet the flop, and he's bet the turn with the second ace. Nick's trying to get a read over there on Tony. One time was a big game. They went on the main. 300, the pot right now is about 900, 425 to call. And Nick is still thinking about it here. He's getting about 2 to 1 on his money. Tony only has about 200 left behind him. And I don't think this is an act, folks. I thought Nick might be just acting it up here. But I think he's really, really stressing with this one. I mean, obviously, if he's an experienced no limit hold'em player, he knows he can be dominated. And hey, what a lay down here by Nick. Now, we were not talking about a huge pot, but that type of lay down is very, very rare for us to see on Live the Bike, as it is anywhere in Southern California, for that matter. That's a hell of a lay down there by Nick in C4. What a great lay down and a great read there by Nick. Very impressive. Button's going to move over here to seat five. I'm going to tell you, against Tony, I, I don't think I make that lay down. Now, I don't know if Nick is necessarily that familiar with Tony. Obviously, you have to always be familiar with your players in, uh, in No Limit Hold'em. We got an $80 raise here by Mike with Ace Jack. And he's going to take it down there. We're not going to see a flop. Again, we're playing 510 No Limit Hold'em. $500 min, uncapped buy in. We got a lot of money on the table. We just did a chip count, and we've got over $25,000 on the table here. See that mountain of chips in front of Matt. You know, it's interesting. Sometimes this game plays small, sometimes it plays big. It's pretty rare to see about $25,000 on the table in a 510 game. This game's playing big. Door's going to limp in here with pocket fours. Nick is going to limp in with King-7 off suit. And Roy is also in there with pocket four, so I don't think these guys are going to hit their set. One, two, three, four, five, six-way action. $60 pot. All clubs on the flop. Ace, King, eight. And it's going to get checked around here. The turn's a seven. Looks like Nick might have the bet. Now, Nick's got two pair now. Nick turned two pair. He checked it. And Tony's going to bet 40 with a 10 high flush draw on the button. Let's see if Nick makes a little check raise. Now he's just going to call. Playing this hand a little bit conservatively. And the club gets there on the river. And Tony's got the flush. Nick is going to check. And Tony's going to make a little $100 bet here. A little $100 bet with the 10 of clubs which in this case is the third nut hand. And he's going to take it down there. Nick is not going to call there with the king seven two pair. You know, some of those people that watch us, you know, directly through Windows Media Player, check out our website. We've got a lot of features 
on there. You can t take a look at our uh, new bio section about the commentators over there at liveatthebike.com. Another feature of signing up for the archives in the upper left-hand corner of your screen is getting access to the Inside Straight. In the first episode, the Inside Straight is up there under March in the archives right now. Look at this. Alex has got aces again in the big line. He got limped around, and he's going to race. He's going to make it 80 to go. And I don't think he's going to get a call here. Now, it's interesting. I haven't, you know, been following. I didn't really have time. I've been busy, you know, obviously the last couple of days here with our big game yesterday. You know, I saw it on ESPN, just a little blurb about Minitieri um, getting signed by the Colts, and Vanderjack leaving the Colts. And Kevin Mapp has posted up here on 2 Plus 2 regarding, I guess, the cap number for Vinatieri for the next year would be huge. The Patriots opted not to designate Vinatieri as a franchise player for a second consecutive season. So there you go. Button's going to move over here to seat 8. We've got a little $40 raise here by Nick. He's got eight ten of clubs. Little gap suited connector. Matt is going to call with 8 4 suited. That's Roswell on 2 plus 2. And we are heads up here. 8 10 of clubs against 8 4 spades. On the flop, misses both players. Check, check here on the flop. Turns a 6. Matthew's got a flush draw. Let's see if he's going to bet in position on it now. Nope, he's going to take the card. And the river's a seven. And neither player have anything. If this one goes to showdown, Nick's going to win it with ten high. But he's going to come out and bet. He's going to bet 40 here. It's a third diamond on the river. And Matthew's going to get away from it. Interesting if Matt had bet the turn there and probably Could would have taken it down. As Robert Hanley says... That's the dungeon door closed. <laughs> Button's going to move over here to seat nine. You almost trapped yourself. <laughs> uh, let me guess. You had a queen nine. And you Again, you can email us at liveatthebike.com as always. Look at this. Roy's got aces for the third time tonight. Roy's had aces three times. Alex has aces twice. 145. Roy's going to make it 45 to go. And Tony is going to re-raise here with a small pocket pair out of seat six. He's going to make it 145 with pocket threes in seat six. Now, if this gets heads up here, is Roy going to finagle this and just smooth call? He's out of position. The pot is heads up. And I think that's what Roy's trying to figure out. It's $100 more back to him. And he's just going to move all in. He just moves all in. No finagling with this guy. And Tony's thinking about calling here, folks. Tony's got about 800 behind. Actually, he's got more like 1,000 behind. But he's not going to get involved. Now, the funny thing there for Roy, again, I don't necessarily know if he's familiar with Tony. But I think if Tony has queens, kings, he definitely makes the call. Jacks of tens, he probably also makes the call. So it's really not that bad of a move. It just in this case, Tony only had pocket threes. Looks like Nick is getting up. We actually have a mega super satellite here tonight for our $2,500 Winning of the Green No Limit Hold'em tournament, which is going to go on tomorrow. It's the main event of the Winning of the Green tournament. And the mega satellite is a great structure. It's a non-rebuy. Top 10% of the placers get uh, seats, kind of like the World Series Mega yes. Super Satellite. Yes. And that's where Nick is going to go to. And I will remember Nick for a long time making that lay down with Ace 9. What the hell of a lay down there? This one is going to get limped around here to Mo, and he's going to raise it up with Ace King off suit. He's on the button. He makes it 120 to go. What? 
Hey, look at this. Dimitri was called with 7-5, and Dimitri was out flopped Mo. Pot's about 270, and Mo's going to make a little continuation bet. He's going to bet 200. Is Dimitri, and look at this. Dimitri was going to check raise him all in with top pair. And how much more is it? Mo might feel it's 355 more here. And Mo's going to make the call with Ace King. He calls like it's nothing. And this is over a $1,200 pot. The turn's a queen. Mo needs an ace or a king. And the river's a four. And Dimitri is going to win it here with sevens full of fours. Wow. I mean, Mo was getting about two, two and a half to one there with two cards to come. Actually, more like three to one. I guess he figured, you know what? I'm going to make this call. I'm going to give action. We've seen Mo do that more and more lately over the last couple months here on Live at the Bike. And Dimitri doubles through. Nice hand there. Button's going to move over here to seat number two. Uh, uh, I need those. Yo. Donna. <laughs> Straddle here by Tony out of seat six, so it's going to be 20 bucks to call. And we're going to see this way three ways. Three ways limped around. Looks like Gore's got top area with the queen nine. Now Tony's probably going to get involved. He's got nine rag. Gore bets 50, and Tony makes a little mini race to 100 with nine three. Pot is now about $230. See how Gore is going to play this out of position. He makes the call. And again, we're about 280 here to the turn. Turns a jack. Gore checks, and Tony checks right behind him. The river's a king. Gore checks, and Tony checks, and Gore's going to win it here with the queen nine. The kicker's going to play here. And there it is. Funny enough, we don't normally say that when you have a pair of nines, your kicker doesn't play. But Tony's kicker doesn't play there. If he was up against somebody with deuce nine, they would chop it up. Again, and there's Alan. Going to be playing some musical uh, chairs here as people move over that mega satellite tournament. Got an email here from Justin Vore. He says, hey guys, love the show. Just wondering, where is Yosh Ben? Well, Yosh used to, of course, host our uh, whale game on Wednesday nights, and uh, Poker Boo no longer sponsors the show, and now we do 2550 unrestricted buy-in on Wednesday nights, as opposed to the kind of strange, I would say, structure that we used to have on Wednesday nights, which was 5100 $5,000 max buy-in. It's kind of the biggest restricted buy-in game you'd ever see in live play. Button's going to move over here to Gore. And it looks like this one has limped around here three ways. And Mike here has got top pair with King Queen. And he's going to throw a $100 bet out here. Thank you. And I believe that maybe Gore made a little raise here on the button. I believe he did. Gore made a raise on the button with Jack Four. That's why he's in there making a button raise. And Mike is going to bet right into him here. And Tony is called out of turn behind Gore. Tony actually has put, actually didn't know that Gore was in the hand and put the chips out. Gore folds. And Tony's going to make the call with a gut shot to the six. $300 pot to the turn. The turn's a jack. Mike still has the best hand. Now, in this case, against a player like Tony, I'm not really concerned about keeping the pot small. He's usually chasing something, and I'm going to try to make him chase. And Mike wisely bets the, the uh, turn there, and he's going to take it down. He also can bet for value against Tony because he might, you know, call you all the way down with your top pair weaker kicker. Email here from EG says, that was an impressive laydown by seat four. But it's going to move over here to seat five. That was impressive laid down by seat four. Was it just me or does he look like he escaped from jail? Well, classic, classic <laughs> poker pair. Classic poker player look. 
Seat four. Look at this. We got another old school live of the biker coming into uh, the game in seat four. West Hollywood Henry. There he is. Now it looked like Gore made a little $75 raise here. The 6 3 off suit. Henry called with King Queen suit, and Tony's in there with Ace Rag. And Tony hits top pair here. Ace, eight, three. And Gore is going to make a $75 bet out here with bottom pair. He was the pre flop raiser. That is not Allen, that is West Hollywood Henry there in C4. And Henry has missed this flop. He folds. But Tony makes the check call here. And we're heads up about a $350 pot. The turn's a four. Tony checks, and Gore checks behind him. And the river's a jack. And Tony has the best hand here. Now, is Gore going to try to bluff Tony out of the hand? I don't know if this is advised Gore here, because you know that Tony's going to probably call here with Ace Rag. That flop was not draw heavy. What do you think Tony was chasing? Gore bets 300 here, and Tony makes a call in a heartbeat with an ace. Again, you've got to know the players that you are playing against and no limit hold them. You take a look at that texture of that flop. Maybe Gore thought that he could bet Tony off of an eight. That might have been what Gore was trying to do there. But when you know that Tony's got that ace there, you know he's not going anywhere. And Tony takes it down again. Button's going to move over here to Tony in seat six. We get a new player in seat seven. That is Shaw Ha. Uh, Shaw, I guess we'll call him. Shaw in seat seven. We got a $55 raise here. With by Dimitri. Look at this. He's got aces now. We have a $55 raise here by West Hollywood Henry, I want to say, with Jack Deuce Spades. And Dimitri is going to come over the top with aces. I mean, this is the seventh time we've seen aces here tonight. Henry is showing Dimitri the deuce, but Tony is still in the hands, on the button with King Jack. And Tony is going to make the call to the $200 re-raise with King Jack. Wow. And yeah, we've got about a $450 pot here going to the flop. 8-4-3. Well, I don't think Tony's going to get involved here. Dimitri's going to bet 375. I think luckily for Tony here, he didn't catch a jack or a king that was top pair. Tony cannot beat ace king. He's totally missed this flop. And Tony's going to get rid of it. And it looks like he showed the aces there. Nice hand there for Dimitri. Again, we are here playing liveatthebike.com. Or we are here at Live at the Bike. You can check our website out at liveatthebike.com. We're playing 510 No Limit Hold'em. Unrestricted buy-in game. Minimum buy-in for this game is 500, and we've got about $25,000 on the table here, folks. Maybe about 20,000 now that Matt has left. Really, really big game. We're already done with our first hour of the show. You can email me at liveatthebike.com with your questions, comments, and suggestions, as always. You can also follow a thread that's started on the internet by going to 2plus2.com, spelled out, click on forums, World of Poker Tour, etc. on the tournament poker. Official Live the Bike thread for March 23rd. Four-way action here. It was limped around. 9-7-3. West Hollywood Henry's got an open-ended straight draw over there in seat four. And Tony's going to bet with middle pair in position. And he's got the best hand here with a pair of sevens. Henry makes the check call. Tony bet Henry call. The turn's a 10, and now Henry has top pair. And now Tony's open-ended. It's a third club. No one has a club. Check, check here. And the river is a five. And Henry's going to make a little $75 bet, value bet with a pair of tens. And that's a nice bet there. He gets a call from Tony with what was middle pair on the flop, and Henry's going to take it down there with the 10. And I don't think Tony can believe it over there. He's bewildered. 
You don't have the straight there, no. <laughs> Button's gonna move over here to seat eight. Again, all those of you that have got subscription in the archives, you can look way back, like say last February, February 2005, for some great episodes with Boar and Henry and uh, Mo and Jonas playing that 510 game. We had just started that 510 game here at the bike right around that time. And look how No Limit has exploded in brick and, mortar, in brick and mortar casinos here over the last year. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, when I started working here, we really only spread the 100 and the 200. The 200 had just started. That was when I kind of started coming here on a regular basis. This was probably, say, September of 2004. And you take a look at it a year and a half later, and it is just unbelievable. Looks like it's limped around here four ways. King, 9-10 with a couple of spades. Looks like Dimitri's got the best hand. He's going to bet in position here with Queen 10. He's going to bet 25. And Tony's going to make the check call here with bottom pair, 7-9. Here we go to the turn. Turns a jack. Dimitri's now open-ended with his pair of 10s. Check, check here on the turn. Here we go to the river. Tony needs a lot of help. The river's a 6. This one still might go check, check. No, oh, Dimitri's gonna throw a little, little bet out here. He's gonna throw a little, looks like a forty-dollar bet here. And you know what? I guess it's a good value bet if Tony makes this call. Tony makes the call, and I think Dimitri thinks he, he's probably beat here, but he's got the winning hand. There it is, with Queen Ten. There you go. A uh, little post on here from 2 Plus 2 by Raymond Scott. He says, Bart, is there any designation when the players' names are in all uppercase or upper and lowercase in the chip count? Well, I've never noticed that, and I think I can safely say that there is not. There is no designation. So you're thinking way too much about it, Raymond Scott. <laughs> yes, and David's commentary bio is a little bit strange. San Luis Obispo. That's strange enough, right? Gory's going to straddle here. He's got Queen Jack out of the straddle spot. Now, we talked about straddling. And you know, if you're going to straddle and you never raise out of the straddle spot, there's very, very little reason to straddle. Now, Gory's got a Queen Jack here, and it was linked around four ways. Might he raise here in the straddle spot? And he is going to raise. But he's just going to make it a little mini raise here. I, I don't really know what the purpose of that raise is. I thought he might make it 150, try to pick up the dead money. Tony makes the call here. Tony's got 9 3 off suit. We do have the cards up correctly. He might be a, a bit on tilt here. Dimitru calls with 5 6. And we've got four way action here to the flop. King 4 5 with a couple of diamonds. The pot's about 280 bu bucks here. Pretty much missed everyone. But it looks like Dimitri is going to bet from the cutoff with middle pair. He's going to bet 75, and Alex is going to quickly call him with a gut shot to the three. Four's out of there with Queen Jack. Tony has missed. And we are heads up here. Turns of four. Dimitri checks. Oh, excuse me. I thought he had checked blind, but let's see here. He's going to bet. He's going to bet 200. And Alex is done with it. And Dimitri has played pretty aggressive here post flop so far throughout the first hour of the show. You will like it. I like it. You will like it when you see it. All right. I did them Getting word that Gonzaga is up 13 points. What's that little? What's that kid's name that's supposed to be the next Larry Bird? Morrison. Yeah. Listen to a little radio interview with him. I think it was on Dan Patrick this afternoon. Don't call me the next Larry Bird. He kept saying, "I'm no Larry Bird." <laughs> Bud's gonna move over here to Mo in seat number one. The Zags, Gonzaga. That's Ray's pick to win the tournament. 
limped around here, and Mo's going to raise here on the button. He's going to make a little mini raise here. He's got Queen Jack offsuit. He makes it 30. Service. And again, sometimes you can, you know, notice the size of the raises to try to figure out what type of hand Mo might have here. I'd probably say it's a suited connector, something like Queen Jack or a pocket pair. He's not going to make a $30 raises with aces, kings, queens, or jacks. The flop comes out 5-5-3 five, five, here. And I would imagine that Mo with that small raise is probably not going to bet. He does not continuation bet. Now you know kind of why he, you know, he raises. He's trying to build the pot up in position. The turn's a king, and Tony's hit a king. He checked it. And Mo's going to try to represent here. He's going to bet 105, but I don't think Tony's going anywhere. And Tony makes the call here, it looks like. No, he actually check raised, and Mo is out of there. Nice hand there for Tony. King 7. Again, if you want to check us out over, uh, take a look at ESPN.com and go over to uh, their fantasy section. Nice little fantasy league we've got set up. About 45 people over there under fantasy. Go to live at the bike fans. That is live with the at symbol bike fans over in the private uh, private group. The password is Bartgasm. That's B A R T G A S M. Take a look at how we're all doing. I'm pretty much kind of middle of the pack guy. Tuckman was up in the lead early, but fizzled. What else is good? Of course, got pocket tens here in the small blind. Tony is going to raise here. He's going to make it 65. He's got big slick off suit. He's got ace king. Gore's going to make the call there with pocket tens. And West Hollywood Henry's going to make the call with 6 5 off suit. And here we go, three ways, about a $200 pot. Tony, the pre flop raiser. Well, he's hit the ace. And it looks like he's going to follow through. Now look at this, though. Is Henry going to throw a little? No, Henry checks. Looks like Henry might throw a little bet out here. And, and Tony's going to bet a little small $65 bet. And might this induce Gore? Is Tony trying to reel Gore in here? Gore only's got, he's only facing one over card. And it looks like Gore's going to call. And he does. What a play here by Tony. Henry is out of the hand. So here we go. I think that even if a blank comes here on the turn, I have a feeling that Tony's going to bet bigger on the turn, and I think Gore's probably going to get the hand. Here we go to the turn. Turns of five. Let's see how this plays out now. Gore checks. Well, Tony's going to kind of throw a little small bet out again. He bets 175 now. Or 150. He's bet 155 now. So a little $65 bet in the flop and a call by Gore. Pot was then about 360. Now he bets about half the pot again. A little under half the pot. Pot's now 500, 155 for Gore to call. And this is and look at this, Gore's gonna make the check call again. And Tony is building himself a little pot and he's in great shape here against Gore. But a $650 pot to the river. The river's a king and now Tony's made two pair. Bit of an action killer there, because really Gore can't beat much. Tony bets 200 and Gore's out of there. Wow. Nicely played there by Tony. Got a post here by John E. on 2 plus 2 here. He says, hey Bart, do you know how things ended after last night's show? Did Barry stay up? Can I grinder? Well, I know that Kenna was up. I think the grinder was actually about a $100 winner. And Barry, you know, I had I, I made a, a kind of a strategical post at the end of last night's show this morning on the thread that was started last night, and I was expecting Barry to make a response, so you can check that out over on last night's thread over on 2 Plus 2, regarding how, you know, David and I think that Barry kind of misplayed the river with that big hand East Queen against Grinders Jacks. Button's going to move over here to Gore. And Gore's going to raise here on the button. He's got jack ton of diamonds. He's going to make it 100. He's throwing on a white chip. Tony's got a queen eight of clubs. He's not going to play. 
Interesting to note that how when Tony wins a hand, he tightens up a little bit, but if he loses a hand, he's going to pretty much play any two cards. Kind of that tilt factor we sometimes talk about. Players lose a lot of money through steaming sometimes. Look at Mike. Mike open limped in the cutoff with Ace Queen. Gore made a raise on the button, and Mike just folds. I mean, Gore has been raising with a lot of stuff on the button. Very, very tight play there by Mike. Button's going to move over here to Henry and seat four. And it looks like Shaw there is going to straddle. And we're going to take a look at a chip count. Well, again, some of the chips have been taken off the table. We've got about 19,000 here on the table. Let's take a look at how these players are doing. Alex still the big winner after he took that big pot from Mo. And Mo's made a nice little comeback here. He's only down about 600 here. Dimitri, the second biggest winner of the night. Gore's down about 900. Gore's going to raise here from the cutoff. He's going to make it 65 to go. He looks like he's got ace eight off suit. And Tony's going to call him with king deuce of clubs. So here we go. It's about a $150 pot. Heads up. Wow. Gore's got his ace, but Tony's got the nut flush draw and a gut shot to the queen. Gore bets 100 and Tony calls. Now, oftentimes, Tony will just call here. The turn's at nine. You know, if, if Tony showed any kind of aggression, it goes check, check, and the river's a six, and Tony just, you know, he kind of misses it. Gore's going to win it there with an ace. I think that Tony can really step up his game sometimes. He makes moves. Bets his draws, check raises with his draws. But oftentimes, as we see, you know, with some recreational players, they tend to call down a little bit too much. Just call. I mean, Tony had a big hand there. He had the nut flush draw with a gut shot to the queen. And Gore's hand couldn't take any heat. I mean, yeah, Gore puts out a bet there on the flop. And, it, boy, after that, you know. And the funny thing about that, though, is, you know, you look at it and you say, well, you don't mind the check on the turn there by Gore with ace eight. But I got to tell you, specifically against Tony, I'm going to fire, and I'm going to fire pretty hard there on the turn because I put him on some sort of draw. He could be calling with a lone jack, gut shot straight. He could be calling with the king. I'm not going to let him get there for free. Against usual tougher opponents, though, you know, obviously you take one stab at that pot, and sometimes you just got to get, you know, you got to risk letting those free cards come because your hand just, you don't want to build a big pot up there with Ace-8. But against Tony there, I probably would have bet there on the turn as well. Gore's going to raise here to 100. He's got 9-5 off suit, and Tony's going to call with Ace-Deuce off suit. And here we go. We're heads up about a $210 pot. And there's the ace for Tony. We know he's probably not going anywhere. He gets checked to Gore. He bets 100. And Tony's going to check raise 100 more. He's got a mini check raise here. Oh, I can't believe that Gore's making this move. He's going to come back over the top of him. Come on, Gore. And Tony calls. I mean, you're just bluffing. You know, you're bluffing the wrong guy here. I mean, I have a lot of respect for Gore's game, but he's got to realize who he's playing against. The turn's in nine. Gore picks up a pair now. Tony checks, and Gore checks behind him. And the river's a seven here, and Tony's good. And Tony's going to bet here. He's going to bet about the pot on the river. He bets about four to 500 here on the river. He's going to bet 375 here. And Gore can only beat a Stone Cold Bluff, but i got to tell you, folks, didn't Tony turn over his hand? The last hand, Gore just saw Tony just call down last hand with the big draw. All he did was check call with King Deuce of Clubs. Are you telling me that you think that he's check raised with some sort of draw and now he's betting the river when he missed? I just don't buy it here, folks. And Tony's going to take it down with Ace Deuce. And correct me if I'm wrong, I think that King Deuce of Clubs hand was shown down last hand. And Gore's got to realize that Tony, you know, is usually not going to be check raising with draws and firing into rivers that is missed. I'm really surprised that Gore tried to re raise there on the flop anyway. Button's going to move over here to C6, Tony.
Got a straddle here by seat number nine. Door's gonna call. Henry's gonna call. Seat number seven here, that is Shu or Shaw. He's got Ace King. He's just gonna call. And we're gonna see five way action here. And look at seat eight. He's got queens in the blind. He doesn't raise in a straddle pop. Wow. And look at this. Alex has got trip fours. Is Dimitri gonna get himself killed here? He didn't raise out of the blind, and so does Henry. We've got two people here who flop trips. This is amazing stuff here, folks. Dimitru did not raise with queens in the blind in a straddle pot. And he's going to get involved here. This is unbelievable. Wow. He's made a big mistake. Two people have trip fours here. He makes the call to Henry's bet out with trip fours, and let's see what Alex is going to do. This is why you don't get involved in these types of pots here. Unless he knew that Alex was like Corporation Mike and was going to raise it out of the straddle spot, he can't take that type of risk. And it looks like Alex is going to... Is he going to make a check raise here? He does. And now this puts West Hollywood Henry to the test. He cannot beat... His kicker is not going to play here. He cannot beat, obviously... Any other four, at best he would chop, but he's going to make this call. I don't know if he thinks that Alex might check raise with flush draw here. And now this should be a very easy lay down for Dimitru here. How can he possibly overcall here with Queens against a check raise and a call any folds? Well, we've got about an $800 pot here going to the turn. The turn's a 10, and now we're going to chop it up. Alex checks, and Henry checks right behind him. And the river's a deuce, but it doesn't matter. And this one's just going to get checked down. I mean, I got to tell you, I had a hand like this a couple weeks ago where I got involved with 6-4. The flop was actually 4-4 four, four deuce. And the guy made a huge check raise me on the flop. And I got involved with 6-4, thinking that possibly I might have had the guy out kicked. But then I realized that we've got trips. You know, trips with fours with a six kicker. You're, you know, your kicker's not going to play. Now, in that case there, Henry's kicker isn't going to play. And unless Alex is going to check raise there with ace-10, which we haven't seen him done all night, hey, it's not the easiest pull, but in no limit holding, sometimes you got to make those types of laydowns there. And Henry might have just been playing it for the chop. He did have position. Interesting hand there. Nice hand, nice hand. Yes, we should have gone queen for four instead of ten. No, I need another four on the turn. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what you need. Button's going to move over here to seat number seven. That's Shaw. Thank you, sir. How much? We got a $30 raise here by Gore. He's got clean jack of spades. And he's going to get called in several spots. Four way action here. $120 pot. Gore's the pre flop raiser here with Queen Jack. We swapped an open ended straight draw here. Ka has top pair. Nobody has a 10. And this one's going to get checked here over to Shaw. And he's going to take a stab at it here with top pair, weak kicker. He bets. He bets 80. And Gore's going to call. And Henry folds. Here we go to the turn. The turn's a queen. Four checks. Shaw still has the best hand. And it's going to go check, check here. And the river is a three. But Shaw has the best hand here. And you've got to think, unless Shaw was on a stone cold bluff, if you're Gore, that you're probably beat here by a king. But he is just going to give up. And Shaw's going to take it down there with kings and tens with a queen kicker. 
Email here from Mike Antolini. Said, hey, Bart, can you quickly describe the laydown that you keep referencing? I was late turning on the show. Well, this is a laydown that we saw about, say, maybe a half an hour or 45 minutes ago. Tony in seat six had raised out of the blind. Gentleman in seat four had limped in in a straddle pot, open limp on the button with ace nine suited. Tony made a little mini raise out of the blind with ace king, and the flop came out ace jack rag. Tony bet the pot, ace nine called. The turn came with the case ace. Tony bet about 450, a pot size bet again with trip aces with ace king. He only had about 275 left. Nick really hemmed and hawed and thought about it and laid down ace nine, laid down the trip aces. A hell of a lay down. Gore's gonna raise here, he's gonna make it 60 to go. He's got deuce three of diamonds. Dimitri is gonna make the call here with ace rag suited. <laughs> Three-way action. Mos uh, Alex is in there with ace nine. King four six here. And it misses everyone. Turns a four. It's interesting that Gore is raising a lot of pots, but he's not really following through with a lot of post-flop continuation bets. And now Alex is going to come out and bet 60. He's got to the best hand here with ace nine. And I don't think Dimitri is going to get involved here. Let's see. Nope. Email here from Brian Santos. He said, since I started watching the show, I've learned a lot from you guys. And one key thing that's helped my game tremendously is learning how to lay down top pair. I'm curious, though. Do you think maybe you can become a little too passive if you're constantly laying down top pair to pressure? Thank you from the email, Brian Santos from Springfield, Missouri. Well, the thing about laying down top pair, you know, usually when we're laying down top pair, it's usually when you have a single pair. And in No Limit Hold'em, you don't want to build big pots up and make big calls and get yourself involved in multi-way action with heat with a single pair. It's just not that big of a hand, even if it is an over pair. So I think that's what we're really kind of getting at. And I don't, you know, necessarily think that, you know, hey, you can, you, you know, you can, you know, develop an image where people think that they can run over you. And you, you have to realize that. But again, do not go broke in no limit hold'em with a one pair hold'em. And that is just fundamental no limit hold'em cash game strategy. Straddled pot here, limped around four ways. Wow. Jack, jack, jack. And Alex has got quads. He flopped it here on the button. He can bet here in position. Gore is going to bet here. He's going to bet 30. He bets 35. Tony is going to call. Call me crazy, but I make a mini raise here with quads. I love this raise because you would never put the guy on the jack. I love it. Alex is going to raise here with quads. He's going to make it 100 more. Now Gore is going to fold. And Tony's going to fold as well. But if you want to play deceptive poker, he shows the jack. Anybody that says that slow playing is the best way to deceive people, I got to tell you, I've been doing this show for over a year. I couldn't disagree with you more. I love that raise as a form of deception. You put the guy maybe on pocket sixes, pocket seven, some sort of pocket pair. But it wasn't, you know anything for anybody to call it. I think Alex might have raised a little too much. I might have made a little mini pot builder raise. But I actually love that raise with quads. Tony here, he's going to make a raise ace seven of hearts. Now C5's got ace queen. Fifty more here to Roy, and he makes the call. We're heads up. Tony's dominated with the ace here. The flop comes up king eight six. Can Tony make a continuation bet? No, it's gonna go check check here. Tony had represented it. That's a horrible flop for ace queen. The turn is an eight, and now Roy is gonna lead out. He's gonna bet. 50. It looks like he's going to bet half the size of the pot. And it looks like Tony's going to call him here with ace high. Here we go to the river. The river's a deuce and the ace queen's going to play. 
Now, he checks. Can Tony put a bet in here? No, he's just going to check it down. And Roy's going to take it down there with ace-queen. There it is. Got an email here from Patrick Schnarr. He says, hey, guys, watching tonight's show. And even at the lower level, it's just as good as last night's 25-50 no limit game. Being able to see everyone's cards is so much more insightful versus watching the WPT or the World Series of Poker on television. Gives you an idea of how to play from every position and what certain moves from different styles of players mean. Thanks for the great show and keep it up. Patrick Schnarr, Frederick, Fredericton, Canada. Is Fredericton in New Brunswick? New Brunswick? Anybody? I was quite the geography buff here. We got a little look at Amir here in seat nine. People are familiar with uh, Amir. We got a live straddle here by seat number six. And we're going to see a $70 raise here by Alex out of seat nine. He's got king nine of spades. And we got a call here by seat three. Gore's got pocket queens, and he's going to play it a little bit slow. He just makes a smooth call here with queens, and we're heads up. And Gore flops top set. And look at this. Alex got a straight. Queen, Jack, 10. And how is this one going to play out, folks? Alex is going to bet right into the straight. He makes the continuation bet. And Gore has got to think he has the nuts right now. Although Alex could have ace king. Gore is going to raise here. He's going to check raise. Gore check raises. Alex moves all in and Gore is going to call. And we've got about a $1,200 pot. It looked like Gore was kind of short here. And are they going to run it multiple times here? I think they might. Again, we've got about a thirteen or fourteen hundred dollar pot, and I think they're going to run it multiple times here. Going to run it twice. Turns a three. Gore needs to pair up here. Rivers and Ace. One more time. Don't drop the deck, dealer. So Alex wins the first one. Here we go to the turn. Turns a king, rivers and ace, and they're going to chop that one up. So Alex wins one, and Gore chops up the other one. So we take the money into the pot, and basically, say the pot is a total of $1,400. we have got two separate $700 pots. Alex wins $700, and then the second pot, Gore gets about $350 back, and Alex gets $350 back. And again, we do this in large stake no limit games as a way to hedge the variance. And you can check out livethebike.com for an explanation of running cards multiple times. Go over to As Seen As, As Seen On, Live at the Bike. Check it out, livethebike.com. So they're going to chop this one. And uh, as they're doing this, this gives me a chance to read Baron Bangor Toast Post. It says, Bart, regarding that kid, Mike Annalini, who tuned in late, perhaps he'd like to know about the archives. Well, I'm sure Michael does know about the archives, but let's shove it down his throat one more time. No, I'm just kidding. No, take a look over at the archives, upper left-hand corner of your screen, on-demand banner, archive banner, $14.95 a month gets you access to every single show that we have ever done since the beginning of February of last year. Over 1,300 hours of live poker with a lot of great names and great faces that have come in here. It's well worth it. Also gets you access to our new feature, the Inside Straight, where we take your strategic email questions and uh, kind of ask a round table of local pros, local no limit cash game pros, about how they feel about each certain situation. Sometimes if you email us with a strategy question and we don't answer it on the show, it's because we're going to use it for 
another episode of the inside strain. Tony is gonna uh, he's gonna raise up here to 35. He's got Ace King. Door is going to call. Queen Jack Amir's in there with Ace Rag, and Henry's in there with King Five. Here we go, 140, four ways. Seven, five, three. Looks like West Hollywood and Henry outflopped everyone. He's going to come out and lead here with middle pair. He bets 50. Tony calls. And if Amir makes the overcall, Tony's really drawn slim here. Because if the ace comes, it's no good for Tony. Amir calls. So Tony's going to need a king and only a king here to improve. And actually, no, because if a king comes, Henry's got two pair. Tony cannot improve. As you can see, there was a 2% there for him to win. And now he's drawing dead. It gets checked around, and Amir's going to bet 300. And I think aggressive play here by Amir is going to take it down. I mean, Tony has absolutely nothing here. He's just got ace-king high. And he's going to fold it. And Amir takes it down there with the ace-three. Nice hand there for Amir. And you can always watch this show on a replay. It seems like over the last, say, we had a couple of streaming issues in the first 15 minutes, but it seems like we've been smooth sailing here so far the rest of the show. I'm glad to see that. But as always, you can uh, watch this show on a replay starting an hour after the show all the way up until about, what is it, 5 p.m. the next day, Pacific time. And then we rerun the entire week's shows on Sunday starting at noon time. So if you want to check out Wednesday's show in a rerun, it's going to start around 9 p.m. Pacific time. Hey, there's Ed Shananananazarian over there. Nice tie there. There he is. I haven't seen him around in a while. And he's second on the board, we're getting word. Amir's going to raise here. He's got ace queen, seat one. Mo is going to call here with king jack. And pocket sevens is in there for Alice. And we've got three way action here. Nine three deuce here. Missed everyone. Alex has the best hand. And it looks like he's going to lead out. Boy, I really love the way that Alex has played here tonight. I, I've been really impressed. I, I don't think I've seen him make any mistakes. He's done a lot of the same things that I would do in, in his exact situation. He bets 80 here. Can you do me a favor, Carl? And Alex is going to take it down. And there it is. Nice hand there for Alex. Button's going to move over here to seat five. Hey, we're already halfway through the show. Zooming along here on Live the Bike. We're playing 5, 10, no limit hold them. Unrestricted buy-in, $500 min. Yellow chips are $5 chips. Purples are 25s. White chips are $100 chips. Big green ones are thousands. Moe's under the gun, and he's going to bring this one in for 60. He's got pocket tens. Six times the big blind. I like that in a non-straddled pot here in this game. That's usually my standard raise in a 5-10 game. He's going to take it down here. And he does. I want to give a shout out over there to uh, Full Contact Poker. They started a thread last night. And we got a bunch of uh, new viewers from that show. So, hello everyone over there. Full Contact Poker. I actually haven't had the opportunity to look now, but I will in a second and uh, see if there might be another thread going over there. But as always, you know, we love to uh, spread the word of mouth about this show. You know, talk about it in a little chat box. I know a lot of people uh, play online poker and listen to the show. King Jack of Clubs here for Amir in seat one. He's going to raise it up here to 35. And seat number two is going to re race here to 105. He's got ace 10. He's come over the top of him, and Amir lays it down. Email here from uh, John. He says, 
what's the web address of the site that gives the odds for different hands and hold them? Well, that would be live at the bike. Just check out our Pokulator at liveatthebike.com. <laughs> Email here from Charles Perlocker. He says, damn good job, Bart, operating solo. There's not too many people that have been blessed with the gift of gab that you do. And my mother agrees with you. Button's going to move over here to seat number seven. That is Shaw, and he's played it real tight all night. We haven't really seen him play many hands. Tony's going to bring this one in for a raise. He's got a 25. He's got ace rag. Three-way action. And look at this, Tony flops a wheel. Now, is he going to bet it? I love it. He bets 50 here. 50. Now, nobody has any part of this. But Gore makes the call with King-10. Is Gore trying to set up a play? Tony has bet the pretty much the nuts here. The turn pairs the five, and Tony bets again. He bets 100. And Tony is playing Gore like a fiddle tonight. And Gore gets away from it. Wow. River would have been a king. Gore actually would have made a pair there at the end. Nice hand there for Tony. And I think Tony's up a little bit of money here tonight, right? Dave McQueen says that New Fredericton is in New Brunswick. I knew that was right. Well, not really, but it was a good guess. I made it up to Prince Edward Island at one time back in my young days when I was about 12 years old. I actually did a cross-country rail trip. I don't know if I've ever talked about this on the show, but my family and I, I'm an only child. We used to go on these, you know, you know, once a year we take a big vacation. And one year, I think it was back in 88, we went, we took a rail from Toronto all the way over to Calgary. We went up to Edmonton. We went to Lake Louise for all you Canadian fans. I don't think that that rail line is around anymore. They had some real problems. The actual rail trip wasn't that pleasant. Air conditioning was broken in the... Uh, very hot plains of uh, Manitoba in July. It's about 130 degrees in the train cabin. Mo's going to raise here. He's going to make it 125 here on the button. And Gore's going to call here. He's got, looks like, King 9 suited, and Mo's got 8 9, and we're heads up. Queen, Queen 9. Both players have 9. Gore, Gore is going to bet 175 all in here, it looks like. He is all in for 175. And I think Gore showed... Well, yeah, Mo's going to make the call here, but Gore's in great shape. I think Gore showed Mo a 9, but Mo called anyways. That's surprising. The turn's a jack. And the river's an ace, and they're going to chop it up. Mo called for the ace, and there it is. Wow. Nine, Unbelievable. I said you straddle. You could have nine five. Well, you should have told me. I would have shown it to you. You could have nine, right? One nine. If you said you had a nine, I would have shown you the king. All right. You show one nine, and I put down nine five nine. Oh. What do I do? I guess it worked. I didn't want him to call, but I guess it worked. I <laughs> I showed him because I don't want him to call. Email here from, or a post here by Masher on 2 Plus 2 saying that, Bart, I have to disagree with you with betting quads on the flop. You have to let somebody catch up there with the full house. Well, in actuality, you know, it was a little bit of a different situation. You had a bet by Gore and a call by Tony, and then Alex raised with quads. And, 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 you know, I do think he raised a little bit too much. You know, he, he raised actually quite a bit. But I'm talking about raising there for the, the value of deception. He's got a $60 bet here, or a $60 raiser by Tony. He's got big slick. Wait, Tony's got had big slick now like four or five times again tonight as well. He made it 60 to go with Ace King, and uh, Alex in seat nine is going to call with pocket fives and we're heads up. And Tony's in the king. King 8 4. Luckily for Tony, it's not King 8 5 because I think Tony might have gone broke on the same as it was. 
He's going to come out and bet here. He bets looks like 150, about the size of the pot. And now it's going to get rid of it. And Tony takes it down. Button's going to move over here to seat two. Pick one, please. And actually, you know, I remember a story re regarding quads. I think it was in Super System by Doyle Brunson. He talked about how I think he had he, he had quad sixes or quad eights. It was in like you know one of these backroom games in Texas, and he led out with quads. And the flop was like eight eight six. He had quad eights or quad sixes. It was six six eight. And a guy kept calling him with pocket tens. He called him flop. It was a rag on the turn. He called on the turn, and the river filled the guy up with tens full. And Doyle got all his money. Got a little raise here by Gore out of the blind with king seven here. He's gonna make it 125, and he's gonna take it down. Gore trying to mix things up a bit, and I think he shows the hands. Yeah, again, you know, maybe someone could fill me in at the exact thing, but I think that was the point that. Doyle led out on the flop and on the turn with his quads, built up a pot. The guy called, called, hit his 10 on the river, and then he moved all in, 10's full. Lutton's going to move over here to Gore in seat three. $45 raise here by Tony. He's got king queen suited. In seat number two there, Mike, he's played it real tight all night. He's got pocket queens, and he's going to re-raise. He makes it 130 to go. And I assume that Tony is probably going to call here. Likes to see a lot of flops, and he does. And we're going to see a heads up pot here for about 260. Tony needs a king here. Wow, he swapped spades here, a spade draw with overcards. Now, again, I talk about Tony. If he showed some, you know, if he check raised big here, made a move, but usually you'll see kind of a tendency for him just to make a call. $250 bet here by Mike. And Tony. Tony's going to raise. Well, look at that. Tony throwing it back in my face. Makes a raise here. He check raises. Love the move here. I don't know if he's going to get Mike off of Queens here. But, you know, Mike can't beat aces. He can't beat kings. He couldn't beat nines here at this point. He can beat tens and jacks and a spade draw with overcards, which is what Tony has right now. He's re raised the minimum. Now, how is Tony going to play it if he misses the turn? That's the real question. Sometimes you can even check and almost get a reverse free card. Mike makes the call. And folks, we've got about a $1,300 pot going the turn, and the turn's a spade, and Tony's got the nut flush. And he's going to move all in. He moves all in here. Now, that is a, actually a bad spade for Tony because now Mike can't beat the ace. But he's going to move in for 760, and Tony has built up this pot now where the pot's about 1400 so it's a $2,100 pot, 760 for Mike to call. He's getting about 3 to 1, drawing dead. Talk about building a pot up with your big hands. And it looks like, you know, Mike is trying to think about, well, is the pot big enough now where, you know, I might make this call because I'm calling 700 to win a $2,100 pot? I think the ace might have killed Tony's action here. And Mike says he put them on a flush draw. There's really nothing that Mike can beat now. I mean, even if Tony was had the balls enough to make that move with Ace King with no flush draw, check race on the flop, he can't beat that now. I mean, pot odds, schmod odds. This is a hand that you need to get away from because there's nothing you can beat. Again, I think Mike is trying to convince himself, trying to look at the pot size. And when you build up pots like this, you really entice people to call when they get, say, three, four, five to one here on an all-in. I mean, I think Mike realizes there's nothing he can beat, but he's trying to talk himself into calling here because he thinks there's so much money in the pot. And, that, and this is exactly what is going through Mike's head.
His initial read thought that Tony was on spade. Well, he's going to get away from it. He does not call. And I don't really necessarily just think that was a Hollywood act. I think he was pretty close there to calling. Tony's going to take it down there. Button's going to move over here to uh, seat number four. Lynn been here by uh, Mike in seat two. And it's going to get limped around here. We're going to see five way action. Five players. So it's a $50 pot here, six five deuce on the flop. Looks like Tony's got two pair, he's on fire. He's got bottom two, let's see if he's gonna bet it. Oh, he gets checked around, the turn's a nine. Now he's gonna bet. The flop is actually six five deuce. Tony did not flop a full house. He has bottom two pair. Six of diamonds, five of spades, deuce of clubs. But it's not gonna matter, Tony's gonna take it down. There it is. Wait, Tony's really, you know, he's really doing well for himself tonight. Kind of impressed. He's bet his big hands. He's built himself up some nice pots. Hasn't really been all that out of line. Is that a Rolex? <laughs> Button's going to move over here to Roy and see. Five. Roy has also played it really tight. Really, really tight. Amir is going to make it 40 bucks here. He's got an ace queen offsuit. West Hollywood Henry is going to call with a jack 10, or as Barry Woods likes to call him, Thor's bitch. <laughs> Roy calls a 6 5 of diamonds. And we're three way action here. King 10 4 here with a couple of hearts. And Amir's going to lead here with a gut shot. I didn't say it, Henry. It's Barry Woods. I like Henry. He's a nice guy. Henry's going to make the call. And here we go to the turn. The turn's a five. It's a third heart. Looks like Amir shut down there. He checked. And Henry's going to check right behind him. And the river is an ace. Oh, wow. Amir needed an ace or a queen that wasn't a heart. And he rivered Henry there. Yep. Button's going to move over to uh, seat number six. That's Tony. Looks like Barry Woods actually sent me a pretty uh, detailed email here because I'm doing a solo regarding a hand. I don't know if he's going to post up on C Plus 2 or not, but Barry, I will review that and talk about it either tomorrow night or post up something. So thank you for that email, Barry Woods. Henry's got pocket queens and he's going to make it 75 to go here out of C4. Now, Gore had limped in here for early position. We can see a king. I don't think he's going to play. <laughs> It's like Gore's eating a hamburger over there with French fries. Kind of, that is kind of, Gore's got King Three suited here, and he's going to make the call. He said, I'm going to give you a bad beat here, Henry. Queens against King Three is spades here. Oh. Gore checks, Henry bets, and Gore falls. <laughs> This is part of reality poker here, folks. I mean, this is kind of like a reality live poker show. It's eating at the table, and the massage is at the table. It's part of live cash game poker. Might not necessarily be ideally what our, my producer wants to see on the show, but... <laughs> He's going to move over here to seat seven. Me too. 
Gore's gonna limp in here. Gore's really short now. <coughs> Surprised he hasn't rebought. And uh, it's limped around here. We get five way action. It's a fifty dollar pot. Ten four deuce rainbow. Doesn't look like this hit anyone big here. Forty five. And Henry's going to come out, he's going to lead, he's got a gut shot to the three, he's going to hit 45, he's got backdoor clubs. And that might be enough to take it down. I mean, it looks like the best hand is Alex with six deuce. And Henry's going to take it down. <laughs> got an email here from DJ Lee, says, good solo job, I think you should come over to Europe sometime. Oh my heaven. I'm coming to L.A. soon. Is there any chance of a pot limit Omaha high game at the bike? Thanks, DJ Lee. Well, it's interesting that you wrote that because, you know, Mo is a big-time pot limit Omaha high player over there in seat eight. Sometimes, you know, when you get a couple of guys in there right before they start the 500 game here early in the afternoon, he plays it. I've never actually seen that game going here at the bike. I wonder if we could maybe get that around Legends. Look at this. Henry's got queens again. He's going to make it 75. Two out of the last three hands here. Now, Roy, remember Roy, he's played real tight. He's got pocket nines. He's going to call out a seat five. Queens against nines here. Jack, nine three with a couple clubs. And Roy's got a set. He's got middle set, and Henry has the overpair. And look at Henry bet. He's going to bet here. He's going to bet 180. He's going to bet 180 and Roy's got middle set. I think some of the players are saying that it's like the Arctic out there right now. We always have temperature control problems here. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Roy has come out and bet here 180. Excuse me, Henry has bet 180, but Roy has got middle set. And look at this. Roy moves all in. And with that type of flop here, Henry cannot beat kings. He can't beat aces. He can't beat jacks. He can't beat nines. And Henry's going to call. Wow. He can only hope that Roy has... Over cards and a club drop. The turn's a three, and Henry needs a queen, and a queen only, and the river's a queen! What a suck out! That is unbelievable. I was just gonna say, I gotta tell you, Henry made that call quickly. You've gotta look at that board. I mean, put the guy on a range of hands, I guess you might say, maybe he's got a set. 30, 40, 50 percent of the time, where I'm a huge dog, and then the other times, if he's got over cards and a flush drop, let's say ace king of clubs, I'm still an underdog. Wow. I mean, aces is different in that spot, folks. Aces is definitely different. But remember, as you move up the ranks, no one pulled them. You have got to realize the possibility that people might smooth call you with higher pocket pairs. When you've got queens and the flop comes out jack nine three with two clubs, you have got to. The funny thing is, I wonder if it was a rainbow flop if everybody made the call. If the flop was rainbow, I think it's even more of a no brainer fold. That's the best time win. Pocket is Roy really going to make that move with pocket tens? You cannot beat kings, you can't beat aces, you can't beat jacks, and you can't beat nines. You've got to go back and look at those hands. Five way action here, queen, six, five with a couple hearts. And Henry just, wow. Unbelievable. Checked around here on the flop, turns a king. Checked around once again. And the river's nine here. And Shaw here. Shaw is going to bet here. And Mo is going to raise. Look at this. Shaw made a straight, but Mo's got the nut straight. Shaw, Shaw bets in the cutoff here. Mo raises. And I think that Shaw can only call here. He does not have the nuts. Remember, Jack 10 will beat him. Making a re-raise here is a big mistake. 
Making a re-raise here is a big mistake, and he's just going to call, and that is the right play. Oftentimes we talk about how you should not re-raise sometimes here without the nuts on the river, especially against a player like Mo. Good just solo call there by Shaw, and Mo takes it down there with the Jack-10. Got an email here from Richard Young saying that he won a big play. There's a look at Boston there coming in the game. Email here from Richard Young saying that he made a big hand in small stakes, no limit, about $900 pot when he bet out on quads. Very, very deceptive. And it looks like Henry, I don't think he's leaving. He's just going to do a color change, I assume. Tony's going to raise it up here to 40. He's got ace, four, offsuit. Moe's going to call with king, queen. Seat number nine is in there with nine, seven of hearts. And we've got three-way action here. $120 pot to the flop. And Tony, like he has all night, gets his ace. And he's going to bet. He bet 65 here. Kind of that mini bet. Now, Alex has got bottom pair backdoor hearts. And Tony's kind of made this little mini bet every time he hits, and he's reeled some people in, but it's not going to work against Alex here tonight. And Tony takes it down. Button's going to move over here to seat two, Michael. This poor guy played so tight. He has to play for nothing on the side. Tony's talking about how seat five played so tight and got sucked out by uh, Henry. I'm just really surprised that Henry called so quickly. Like I said, when you run that hand back in your head with Queens, it is, uh, there's a lot of stuff you can't beat out there. And again, you put the guy in a range of hands and you look at the pot odds, you're really hoping for a flush draw there. You're hoping for a flush draw. And again, if the guy's got overcards in a flush draw, you're not even a favorite. And that's what you're hoping for half the time. The other half of the time, you are a gigantic dog against the set. Six-way Six action here. Queen, nine, jack here with a couple hearts. And seat number two has got this nut straight. And he's going to, and it looks like Gore came out and bet here with queen, nine. He's got bottom two pair. Amir calls with a flush draw and an open-ended straight draw, and Mike raises. While Amir's hand might be even big enough to re-raise here, Gore's going to move all in. Wow, look at this hand. And look at Amir. He's open-ended with a flush draw. Gore bet. Amir called. Mike raised with the straight. Gore is all in for 370 now. And now what is Amir going to do? I got to tell you, if Amir smooth calls here, if you're King Tang, you make him pay. You move over the top of Amir here. Wow, Amir folded. Wow. What a hand to fold there. Two-way draw. Open-ended straight draw, flush draw. You might think somebody might be on higher hearts. If you think somebody's got higher hearts, then you're in big trouble and it's the right fold. Now, Gore's going to need to fill up here. They're going to run it two times here. The turn is an eight, and the river's a five. Mike wins that one with a straight. Turn's an eight. River's an ace. And Mike wins that one. And there you go. Gore's felt in here. Nice hand there for Mike. Okay, 1,000 down here. And uh, $1,000 behind here by Gore. Looks like we do have a thread going over on Full Contact Poker. Started by Gary2121. Limped around here. 
And we're going to see a raise here. One, excuse me, 170, 65. It looks like Shaw is going to raise here. I believe he might have straddled. And he's going to make it 165 with pocket sixes. And again, if you're going to straddle, you got to make these raises sometimes, so there's no point straddling. I count it. I know. I'm saying 85. It was not a straddle, I'm getting worried. Yeah, I, I believe it was a straddle here, because I don't know how Shaw did not probably raise. Oh, excuse me, Shaw's in the big blind, okay. Oh, I see, Boston is coming between. We allow that at the bicycle casino. Boston came in between as a new player, you can do that. And, and, that, and that's why we see this. So Shaw was in the big blind. He's going to raise it to 170 here. That's it. It's good. Oh, they changed it to a different game. Oh, yeah. There's 14 seconds. I can't imagine that anyone's going to give Shaw any action no, here. Yeah, 14 seconds in the other game. What you see is That's West Virginia versus Texas. Uh, how many 14 seconds left? Yeah. And uh, he's going to take it down there with pocket sixes, and that kind of, you know, kind of get that your tight image sometimes you make those types of moves. Which hasn't really, really played a lot of hands tonight. Two point game with four seconds to go. What did he say? What he had? Did he show what he had? Button's going to move over here to Tony in seat six. Again, I am barking at him normally here with Dave Tuckman, but I'm doing a solo job here on the solo mission, like I said in the beginning. So, on the solo mission, like when I was going out to the bars when I was 22, on the solo mission. Hey, there's Corporation Mike. He's got a raise here by Tony. Guess what hand he has out there, folks? Can anybody guess? How about the seventh or the eighth time? He's going to make it 40 to go. There's the big slick. And Amir's in there with ace eight. And it wouldn't be surprising the way Tony's running if we're going to see an ace here flop. Well, not this time. 10 8 4 here with a couple hearts. Alex has got top pair here from up front. He's going to check. And it's going to get checked around. The turn's a king, though, and Tony's hit the best hand. And now, and Alex is actually going to pull the trigger now. He's going to bet 60. Some guys might check there, fearing Ace King, and Amir is going to call with Ace Eight. Let's see if what Tony's going to do here. Is he just going to overcall? He does. Pot is now about 300 bucks to the river. Tony's in command of favorite here. River's a six. Now, can Tony put in a little value bet here with one pair? No, he's just going to check it down. And uh, Ace King is going to take it down there. Again, you know, sometimes we talk about deep stack no limit. Sometimes people are hesitant to value bet, fearing the check raise all in, or the big check raise on the river. Of course, there is value to not showing your hand. And good players will always pick up on the fact that if you never bet your mediocre hands on the river, that when you bet on the river, you're either betting a monster or a bluff. So, you know, if you mix it up a little bit and sometimes bet for value with one pair, it makes it a little bit more difficult for somebody to put you on a hand. 30. Little $30 raise here by Amir with Ace Jack of Diamonds. Four way action, 120 in the pot. Here we go. Ace King Deuce, Amir's hit the top pair. Now Mike in seat two has got ace four clubs. Is he going to get involved? Well, how about this? Amir checked it. He raised with ace jack and he checked. And now Mike is going to bet. Now the funny thing here is I wouldn't necessarily think that Mike would have called a raise with ace four clubs. I guess it was such a small raise. If you're Amir here, I guess you hope the guy's got ace ten or ace three, uh, ace nine. I mean, those are the hands that you can beat. The turn's a king. Now you can't beat a king if the guy bet on second pair. And here checks. And you might really see Mike check here, and he does. And the river's a queen, and this one's going to get chopped up here. 
and Amir's going to bet 200. Really like the bet here. I think it's hard to put the guy on the king. He didn't bet the turn unless he was really trying to trap you. And Amir's trying to bet Mike off of a chop pot. Now, I might have even bet more here. Amir's bet 200 into a pot that's about 450. So... Oh, Looks like Gore is getting all excited. What is that about? What what game is that out there, Ray? Oh, they made a buzzer beater to tie. Like, Texas, West Virginia, in the, in the NIT. Oh, so you got, yeah, okay. In, in the NCAA, I'm sorry. That's how I'll in it the tournament I'm in. And actually, Mike lays the hand out and here takes it down. So Texas is out? Oh, Texas won on a last minute shot. Wow. And that is evidence of our five minute delay there, folks. When you guys are hearing this five minutes later. Got a post here on 2 Plus 2 from Johnny. He says, the stream is nice, the show is rigged. There you go. Four players. Limped around here, four-way action. Seven deuce deuce, rainbow. 20. Amir's going to come out and bet here 20 bucks of queen seven. And he's going to take it down there. There it is. And as I'm saying that, you can see that Jay Bird has just written up on 2 plus 2. Holy shit, West Virginia versus University of Texas. Expletive, expletive, expletive. So again, you'll hear that five minutes from then. Take a look at another chip count here. We've got about 18,500. Alex is leading the table with 6,000. Let's take a look at the differences. And Alex is up 2,400. Gore, the big loser, down 2,500. Moe, he's down 800. And Alex is really, you know, the only guy that's really in huge, huge positive gain here. Got a little $30 bet here by raised by, uh, I want to say, Tony with Queen 10. King Jack off suit called on the button. And Gore's going to make it 105 with Ace King. Gore out of the straddle raises to 105. And it looks like Alex is going to call as well here. And he does. And we've got about a $315 pot here going three ways. Gore with Ace King and Gore flops trip kings. And Alex has got King Jack. Time for a little payback from Gore. And Gore is going to lead out right into the trips. He bets 125 here. Sure, Tony's going to get out of the way. And the way that Alex is fast played, I wouldn't be surprised if Alex raises here. I really wouldn't. Let's see. Unless he thinks he's playing an aggressive player in Gore and he might just smooth call. But he's going to race right away. Makes it 325. Now, if Gore comes over the top all in here, could you ever get rid of King Jack here? Alex has made it 200 more. A mini raise, and Gore's cutting out how much he has left. Looks like he's got maybe six or seven hundred. If Gore moves in for seven hundred here, looks like that's what he's going to do. He's going to move all in. You know what? It's only three hundred more, and at this point, the pot is so big. I'm sure Alex is going to call with trip kings. But it's an interesting equation if you were really deep stacked, how this hand would play out. Three fifty-five more here. I mean, the pot is. Almost 11, 1200. And Alex doesn't like the call. He throws the chips in and he makes the call. He needs a jack here. Turns a deuce. They would split it with an eight. And I guess Gore's got 65 more. So he's, there's still action, I guess. Check, check here on the turn. And the river's a three. And now Gore puts it all in and Alex calls. Ace king. And, and again, I, like I said, 
it would be interesting, and it would definitely play out differently if they were much deeper stack, and Floor is going to double through there. We talk about dropping hands, being in there with Ace King, or not Ace King, excuse me, Ace Queen, Ace Jack, King Queen, King Jack, King Ten, Ace Ten. When you make tricks, are you going to lose a lot to a better kicker? To a dominated hand. I'm not trying to make a move right now. <laughs> I just messed wait a minute. I can get $61. <laughs> You've got about, oh, maybe 40 minutes left in the show. I'm watching <laughs> And you can email me at live at the mic dot com with your questions, comments, suggestions, as always. Thirty. We got a thirty dollar raise by Tony. He's got East ten. Amir is called with four or five here. Gore is going to call. We can't see what Gore has. He's got his chips on his window. So we got three way action. Gore's got six seven offsuit. Bob comes out king, nine, ten. Tony's got a gut shot here, and he's going to bet. He bets 40. And I don't think Gore can even get involved here with six, seven. And Tony's going to take it down. Nice hand there for Tony. Thank you. Uh, email here from Tom from uh, a few minutes ago saying, Bart, love the show. I know you like building a big pot for yourself and fast playing your hands, but say you're in the small blind and then call the big blind. And you flop a full house. Would you still fast play this or induce a bluff when you first act? Well, I see your point, Tom. I mean, there are certain situations where you're going to probably slow play. Against an aggressive player, he's probably automatically going to bet when you check to him on a blind versus blind situation. So I wouldn't fault you for checking there in a heads-up situation. Now, if the pot's limped around seven ways, and I flop a full house out of small bet, blind, yeah, I might lead out there, try to build myself a pot in seven people. We get a raise here by Mike. Do it. Yeah, Jack, man. He's going to make it 40 to go here on the button. Henry's going to call with King Jack of Clubs, and Tony's in there with a little nice suited connector. When we started here, that game wasn't going. Well, Tony's open ended here. So I'm stuck here, so I'm trying to get it back here. And Tony's actually a favorite in the hand. Remember, no pair versus no pair, but no pair with a draw is going to be favored. I'm going to get it. Mike is going to bet 150 here. Can Tony make that move that he did before? Can he make a check race semi bluff here? Well, he's just going to check call. But Mike has nothing here. Turn is a three. Now Mike has a draw. Mike can catch a five now. And it goes check, check. Up oh, in the river's an ace. And now Tony's going to bluff at it. Look at that. He bets 300 here, and Mike makes the call. Wow. Again, we're kind of seeing the new Tony here. I haven't really seen him do that that much. What a bullshit bet on the fly. What was that all about? You don't have it. You have 5-6. I didn't want a 4 to come. I thought I wanted a 4 to come, but I missed He's got the 4. And uh, he, the ace is going to take it down. Thank you. email here from uh, Jay Z Piano telling me that he likes to raise and bet his quads on his trip, so he makes the most money that way. Thank you for emailing me. <laughs> email here from Bernie McAtengay. I wonder if I'll ever get his name right. That's the real question. Hey, look at this. Tony's got a Oh, it's not Tony. Seat seven, Shaw's got ace king. <laughs> and he's just going to limp in from up front. And Gore's going to make a button raise here. And Gore's done this all night long with pretty much a lot of garbage. He makes it 80. I'm going to tell you, I know Dave is a big proponent, and I'm a big proponent of raising a lot in position, but we like to do it with connected cards, not just any two cards. Shaw's going to call here with Ace King, and we're heads up. 10 4 against Ace King. Here we go in the flop. 10 8 6 here. Gore's got top pair. Shaw's missed. Why are you looking at my chips? Shaw checks. What you got, 7-8 of hearts or something? Yeah. 
Corey's gonna bet. Corey bets 100. Look at this shot call. Looking at him like they're yours already. Turns a seven. Now it's a one liner here to a straight. Shot checks. And Gore checks. And the river's a seven, and it's a heart. Wow, if Shaw had actually bet that river, I don't know how there's any way that Gore can call. Because the flush got there, Shaw could have had an eight. No, I'm calling you an asshole. Gore can't be a real ten. Not that it's someone would really bet a real ten there, but a whole lot of stuff got there on the river. So Bernie's emailed me. He says, Bart, I want to improve my overall poker game. I've focused on limit hold'em mostly, but we want to play all games better, including no limit in tournaments. Do you have any suggestions? Or should you just focus one game at a time? I think you can expand out for sure. I mean, the advice that I'm going to give you is pretty much no-brainer advice. It's, you know, you got to play more, you got to gain more experience. Come down, play in the $200 game here. Get some experience. I think the $200 game only has its limits of about how much you can really learn from that game, though. Just severely restricted buying games are just like any, any game that's going to give you less than, say, 100 times the big blind as a max buy in. Henry's going to raise here with aces. And I don't think anyone's going to call him. You have, you have aces? Now yeah. I'm gonna call us. I know you got aces. Okay, call. Push it out. I didn't take the line. Push it out. Push it out. Push it out. I believe him. He has aces. I believe him. You don't believe me, Mo? Alright. You go come come with him. <laughs> I believe him. Hey, here, Bob Ross style. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go come come. Come on, baby. Come on. 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 Henry's going with the little Sammy Farha look. The cigarette in the mouth. The cigarette prop. Button's going to move to uh, seat five. That's Boston. We haven't seen him play a hand yet. Limped around here. Yeah. Oh, got a jack seven of diamonds. Henry's in there with five three suited. One, two, three, four, five way action to the flop. Fifty dollar pot, jack four deuce, couple of spades. See if shot well, look at this. Shot checks the ace jack here. Really, really conservative. Maybe he's going for a check raise. Gore is going to bet here with top pair. He bets 35. Henry calls. He's calling with an open ended straight draw with 3 5. And is Shaw going to check raise here? Is that what his intention was? Yeah. He's going to make it 100 more here. Now, the problem with making it 100 more here, just 100 more with a single pair here, you're against two aggressive guys who have position on you. It's a real draw heavy flop here. If you get caught, how are you going to play the rest of the hand? Now, Shaw does have the ace of spades in his hand. I think Gore's going to get rid of the jack seven of diamonds here. But Henry, let's see if Henry's going to call. We play teams. I bet he calls, he raises, he goes all in. I go all in. Yeah. And look at this. Henry is going to move over the top all in. But I don't necessarily know if I buy it, if I'm Shaw. I mean, what would Henry have smooth called Gore with? Set there? And Shaw makes the call. And this is going to be about a $1,500 pot. The turn's a deuce. Henry needs a straight card here. And the river's a six, and he makes it. And he makes the straight. Third spade on the river. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable stuff here at Live at the Bike. I knew it was coming. Tony tells Tony tells West Hollywood Henry, you're lucky. <laughs> He's gotten lucky now. How many times is it? Twice tonight? He sucked out with a river queen. He sucked out with a river six there. At least that hand was a little better than the other one with the queen. I sat down, I analyzed everything, I said, I'm just gonna go play poker Allen style. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. 
<laughs> Henry is up. He is up. Email here from Michael Feynman. Or Feynman. He says, Bart, I give you a lot of shit at times, but you're doing a great job working the show solo. Thank you, Michael. Button's going to move over here to seat six. That's Tony. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're going to see a raise here. $45 by Mike. He's got ace queen. Now, Alex is in there with uh, king queen suited. He is dominated by Mike. And we've got three way action. Eight, seven, seven. Missed everybody. And if Mike makes a continuation bet here, he's probably going to take it down. He's going to bet 150. Not a good flop for King, Queen, or Ace 10 here. And he does take it down. So I had a post up here by Beaver Style about 15 minutes ago on Full Contact Poker. He said, Bart, you, you said you personally know some of the players. Do you talk to the players you know after the game about their play of a hand? And, and I will sometimes if they ask me. I, I tr David and I try not to talk about it necessarily while the game is going on immediately after the game. Um, you know, right after the show, somebody says, oh, what did this guy have this hand? We try not to do that. Of course, everyone's got access to it because you can always call somebody and find out what somebody had. Boston's going to raise here to 40. He's got Jack 10. Moe's going to call. But anybody that, that wants... Actually, Moe's going to re-raise here to 150. Anybody that wants to have strategic conversations with us about our hand, you know, go back and watch when they're on, you know, we are open to it. And we're open to criticism. And Boston has called Moe's re-raise here with Jack 10. Boston might be playing the player here. Flop comes 7-7-4. Seven, seven, That's a horrible flop for Jack 10. Boston might be playing off of Moe's image. Boston checks. And Moe checks right behind Boston. Turns a 10. Wow. Unbelievable. And is Moe going to try to represent some sort of play here? Boston's going to come out with bet now. I mean, if Moe had bet that flop, he would have taken it down. And Moe checks behind him and he folds. Wow. What I was going to say was, um, you know... Gary Woods, a great guy, you know, he started playing poker just right, I think right before, you know, he came on live with the bike about a year ago. And he loves to interact with us and ask, you know, us about strategic questions, and we're always open to it. And we're open to criticism. I, I don't filter any of the stuff that comes in, in terms of, that are on the, some of the internet forums that are followed about the show or in the emails. If you've got something negative to say, you know, those are the ones that I'm looking the most to, uh, to read because... It doesn't seem like they're all that common anymore these days. The button is going to come over here to seat nine. Tony is going to limp here with six, seven of diamonds. I got a We got a thirty-five dollar raise here by uh, Amir out of the blind with king queen. There they are. Tony is called. No problem. Man. And Alex is called with an ace five here in position. When the flop comes out with an ace here, Amir's got a gut shot. Now, Alex, I really, I'm really, i really impressed with the way he's played. Is he going to get involved with the sand? He is heads up. You're not necessarily always, you know, you're not trying to hit your ace here when you play ace five. Well, Alex is going to make the call here. Maybe he's going to see what Amir does on the turn. Turns a seven. Amir checks. You know, if Amir had fired there again, the way that Alex has played tonight, I think Alex probably would have folded. And look at this little bet here by Alex. He bet 75. He's trying to bet here to get a free showdown on the river. And the river's a queen, and he's probably going to get a free showdown. And there you go. Kind of one of the reasons why a weak bet on the turn gets you that showdown on the river. 
really, really impressed with this, the way these guys played here, Alex Chen, in seat nine. Button's going to move over here to Amir. Seat number one. Shaw's going to come in here for Rays with pocket eats. He's going to make it 45. Actually, that's not Shaw. That is a new player. Get his name here in a second. Dan. And uh, Amir is called with an East 9 offsuit here on the button. Danny is good here with eights. He's going to bet here again. He's going to bet 60. Show me kings, man. Show me pocket kings. And Amir is not going to get mauled. Again, for anybody that is new to the show, I want you to point you guys over to um, a show called The Circuit, which is kind of a uh, podcast uh, through uh, Card Player. It does this podcast, and it's hosted by this guy, Scott Huff. Nice guy. You can get over to... <coughs> <laughs> That's one of the disadvantages of being a solo commentator. Uh, you can head over to cardplayer.com and check it out. Uh, some sort of commotion going on the table. What's happened, Ray? That's so sick. UCLA just took the lead against uh, Gonzaga. And you can hear the uh, cheers by the Southern California cr crowd in the background of the poker club. I guess we're going to do another chip count here. Okay. Got almost 20,000 there, the differences. Alex is up to uh, 1,600. Henry's up 1,200 with all those suckouts. Now we're going to see a flop here. We're heads up here. Mo raised with ace 10 and Tony called with jack 10. Flop comes king 5 king here. Look at Tony, he's going to come out and bet here. He bets 40. And Mo's going to raise. He doesn't believe it. He's going to raise it 125. And Tony doesn't really have anything here. And he's going to fold. What I was saying was check out hardplayer.com. Head on over there and look at media. Or head, head over to like their media link. And then there's a show called The Circuit, which is a podcast hosted by Scott Huff. Interesting show. A lot of big-time names on the show. And a couple weeks back, David and I, the other commentator for Live at the Bike, did a, 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 a whole show. We've got about an hour of us talking about live cash game poker. Just uh, scroll by that mean masked man named Mike Manasal in the first 10 minutes of the show. Button's going to move over to C3. Now we're going to come right after Mike. Uh, it's the last day during the WPT Invitational Tournament at the LA Poker Classic. Gore's going to pop it up here to 25 on the button. He's got 10 8 suited. Mini Rays. They don't deserve that. They deserve it. They're down by 20. And again, UCLA has just won. Tony raises here. So UCLA is kind of, he's beating Gonzaga, right? And there goes Ray's uh, pick for uh, winner. Tony? Yeah. No, he raised right here. Gore raised it to 25 here on the button. And uh, Tony made a little re-raise with ace-5 offsuit here. Alex is in there with 5-6 offsuit. And we're going to see a $180 pot three ways. Tony, the pre-flop re-raiser. Well, this time he doesn't catch his ace. King, six, seven. But you know what? He's going to bet here. He's just going to bet 50, though. And, and that might be small enough where Alex is going to call one time, and he does. 
Now Gore's got a gut shot to the nine. He also calls. He's got backdoor spades. The turn's a deuce. Gore picks up a spade drop. You wonder if it gets checked over to Gore, if he's going to put in a hefty bet here. Nope, he's going to take a card. And the river is in east. Unbelievable. And Tony's going to bet 100. Wow. Wow, Tony's had a lot of luck with those aces. And he takes it down. Email here from uh, P. Duckett. He says, great job on the show so far. You guys have me hooked. Quick question. We'll be traveling to the bike soon to play 1, 2, or 2, 5 mil limit. Whenever the game is up next. Will there be about a week? I think he's asking about do we spread that game and we do sometimes we'll spread that game on Thursday the $200 game but during the winning the green tournament series we are spreading bigger games and winning the green is actually going to come to its, its conclusion tomorrow with the final two day $2,500 main event tournament $2,500 no limit hold wow some big hands here Mike's got pocket aces in seat two and, and uh, Danny's got ace king of clubs here in the big blind in seat seven $80 raise here by Mike. Imagine Danny's going to at least call here. And he does. So we're heads up here. Aces against Ace King of Clubs. And you can see that Amir had Queen Four of Clubs. So some of the clubs are dead. Queen 10 7 here. Well, Danny's got a gut shot. He's got over cards, backdoor clubs. And Mike is going to bet. He bets 175. <laughs> and Danny's going to make the check call. Building up a pot here. About a $500 pot. The turn is a spade. Can Danny represent? He checks. Now Mike has the ace of spades. Is he going to take a card here? Do you want to put in money here with the nut draw if you possibly might get check raised off of it? But he's going to bet 250. And Danny's going to make the call again. And you can look at the odds. The pot is now $1,000. Danny needs an offsuit jack here. And the river's three. He doesn't get it. He checks. And now for Mike, is the pot big enough here where he might just check it down? Mike's going to bet again. He bets 250 here again. And he takes it down. Aces with the ace of spades there. Email here from uh, Roy. Oh, Roy, the guy that lost with the suck out from Pocket Queens. He says, how do I get go about downloading an archive of this game? Well, Roy, you can watch this game on a replay. I guess Roy went home and he's writing into us. You can watch this game on a replay starting an hour after the show. Now, you can't download that, but it's going to rerun all the way through tomorrow up until an hour before the show starts tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific time tomorrow. But if you want to download the game on your home computer, say onto a CD, you can sign up for the archives. You click on the on-demand archive banner in the upper left-hand corner of your screen at liveatthebike.com, spelled out. A $14.95, $14.95 gets you a subscription to every show we've ever done. It gives you the ability to scroll through the game, manipulate the screen, and download the game. So there you go. Three-way action here, four, five, eight. This guy's got your number. Dory's gonna bet here 25 with middle pair, or actually bottom pair is gonna take it. Up. And actually, Al Alex is called here with four, six. He's got a pair and a gut shot. Turn is a queen. And he bets again. He's shown him the four, and Alex is gonna call. Now, Gore's kicker is playing right now. And the river's a seven, and Alex makes the gut shot. He hit it. Now he's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to come out and bet. He bets 200. You wonder if, if Alex is going to show Gore the four here. Looks like uh, West Hollywood Henry's double fisting some uh, dude strength. Look, white Russians over there? Yeah. White Russians and shots of Patrons. Two white Russians and two shots of Patrons. <laughs> And uh, Gore says he thinks he's bluffing him, but he's not. Alex has the goods here. 
You're straight to it. And Gore's going to fold it. Show him, boy. Oh, boy. No, he's not going to show. I would have showed Gore the four. <laughs> Got uh, maybe 15 minutes left in the show. Thank God for my voice's sake. $50 raise here by Henry. He's got eight tennis spades. And uh, Tony is called with the same hand but with clubs. Four, five, nine. Let's see if uh, Henry's going to make a little continuation of that. Looks like he is. He's going to bet 75 here. And Tony has missed this, as well as Henry. Of course, the power of the betting lead shows the plot. And, and Tony had the same hand. <laughs> Button's going to move over here to C8, Mo. Get a post on here by uh, the guy123, Dirk Diggler. Says, Bart, what was Dave's response to the hand where Mo had King King and he raised Corporation's Mike's raised pre flop and the flop came ace rag rag? Mike checked him and uh, basically Mo bet and Mike check raised him. Mo released Kings and Mike showed him tens. Well, I'll let Dave answer that one for you. I'll remind him about it tomorrow. I guess if some people had streaming problems and didn't hear the response. We'll get to that tomorrow. Danny's got ace king here and he's going to raise. He's going to raise it up to 85 out of seat seven. He's going to fold. Let me throw a question out for everybody watching here. I was telling my card guy Ronnie about this earlier. I don't fold sets very often. But the hand before I came into the booth tonight, around 6 o'clock Pacific time, I was under the gun, and my head was really not in the game. I linked in with pocket deuces. It was linked around five ways. The flop came out deuce, three, four, with two hearts. I led at the pot for a pot-sized bet, a real tight, solid guy to my left called, and another guy that had been playing really tight raised. I was in seat one, a guy in seat four raised to 400. I thought for about 15 seconds, seconds and mocked my bottom set because my head wasn't in the game and I just didn't want to get involved in that last yeah, hand. I didn't see the last minute. You know, sometimes when you're not mentally there, I didn't want, I mean, I had a nice session today. The guy had me covered. Am I a pussy because I did that? That's kind of what I'm throwing out there. Yeah, again, I don't muck sets very often, but in that case, I just did not want to get involved. We got pocket kings here for Alex. And that was, again, that was the, uh, the hand right before I came in the booth here today. Live straddle here by seat three, and Alex just raised it to 90 with Pocket Cowboys. You ready? He's excited about this one. Alex, you got two red kings? Two red kings? Corey's going to fold the jack rag, big lady down there. Now Tony's got king nine. I think he might even have pocket sixes. And he's going to fold. New Tony. Here's a look at Alex. That nice window cam. Maria? This one right here. Maria. Maria's mother. Yeah. The rest of it? Yeah. Really? But it's going to move over to seat one. That's a mirror. Somebody took a bet on it one night and they asked her. She said they were. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's just not a mistake. It's like perky. <laughs> Can I use perky? I don't know if anybody's getting wind of the conversation that's going on the table, but I'm not going to repeat. I can't believe we're talking about this on the line. I hear you guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's round. Oh, man. 
I don't think Corey will watch the Flyers. And uh, yeah, Corey's going to raise her deuce five off suit. Out of the big blind, he's going to make it 100. Well, they've had a couple yes. Patron shots. And it looks like Gore is drinking some Cape Codders over there. Grey Goose and Cranberry Juice. Kettle one and Cranberry Juice. And Alex is going to call him with King Queen here. Easily dominated hand. Here we go, the flop. Well, Gore's got a wheel draw. Let's see if he's going to lead out with the ace. And he does. He bets 200. You know, Alex has a weak draw here. Obviously, he's got a gut shot to the jack. But could you call in here in position to see if Gore follows through with a bet on the turn? And if he doesn't, you take it away from him on the turn. Now, let's see. And look at this. Gore makes his wheel. Wow. Gore hits the wheel here on the turn. And he's going to bet again. He bets 250. Now, we know that if Gore had actually checked that, it would have worked out for him better. But I think that Gore might think that Alex has got an ace there. You know, Alex hasn't folded yet. Again, he's calling on the flop not just because of his draw, but because he's got position. And maybe he can take it away from Gore later on. But Gore has the nut hand right now. And look at this. Alex is going to make the call. And Alex needs a jack here, and only a jack. And the river is an eight. And look, he made the hand on his shirt. And now, do you, you know, if you're Gore, I don't, you know, sometimes you say, do you check to induce a bluff? But look at the flop. I mean, what kind of draw would you think that Alex is on? I think I bet for value, thinking that Alex is stubborn and can't get away from an ace here. That flop is not real draw heavy. And, and that might be going through Gore's mind right now. It's about a $900 pot. I mean, I don't know. You know, if Gore checked here, I mean, maybe Alex would just give up. It seems like Gore is pretty pot committed right now. We know that Gore probably should check here. But the way this hand is played out, you look at that texture of the flop. If I'm Gore, I bet the guy is stubborn with an ace. And he's going to come out and bet. He's going to bet 725. Yeah, Alex is out of there. He's really trying to get a call there for an ace. Gore, 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 Gore. Huh? Biden's going to move over here to Mike in seat two. Buttons over there in Mike's hand in seat two. And I carry on his last four. That is five. Sorry. Do you have five? I folded him after it was like a team given. How do you race when everybody lives? How do you have the cojones to race? Raise I'm going to raise here to 100. On the button here, Mike has raised it with ace nine. Hey, look at all the limpers that were in there. Everybody was in, and he's going to raise it to 100. Tony's going to fold out a turn. Henry's out of there. Alex is not going to play that suited connector out of position. And Amir's not going to play. Mike's going to take down all that dead money. Interesting post here on 2 Plus 2 by RX Cowbell. He says, get your unwitting friends to watch the replay of this episode and tell them they have to drink whenever Ace, Ace, or Ace King comes up. Then start up a home game. Easy money. Yeah. Button's going to move over here to Gore, C3. Live straddle here by Tony. And we get a raise here by Gore. He's going to raise it up with pocket sixes. Tony is the straddler. Boston's got ace five of clubs here in seat five. He hasn't done anything. No, he's not going to call. But it looks like Tony's going to call with ace four of hearts. Wow, he re-raises. Holy cow. He's going to re-raise Gore. And Gore immediately calls here. 
And look at this. All of the aces are dead. Tony's got ace four. We can see Amir had ace nine and Boston had ace five. Four's in great shape here. $600 pot. Tony hits a pair, but Gore's got top set. Four, five, six on the flop. Tony, check the jacks, check the jacks. Tony's got backdoor hearts, and that's pretty much the only way he can win this hand. He bets 400. And Gore's going to raise him. He's going to raise to 800. He's going to mini raise, and Tony calls immediately. And this pot has ballooned to over $2,200. Oh man, and if Tony hits a four, he's gonna go bust. The turn's a queen, Tony's got the heart draw now, and he moves all in, and this would be a sick beat, folks, if the heart comes on the river. Oh, and the river's a jack, and Gore's gonna escape here with a set of sixes. Wow. Can you imagine that beat if that heart came on the river? Oh my. And Tony's gone bust. Well, he played it well all night here, folks. But he, in the end, he just kind of gave his money away there to Gore. Button's going to move over here to uh, Henry and see Eastern block of 2 plus 2 says, short answer, Bart, yes, you are a pussy. Well, he didn't say you're a pussy, but he said yes. You know, Mo told me to take a look at Yost there, getting a head massage. You know, Mo gave me a, 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 you know, some good advice a long time ago, talking about how in no limit, when you're ready to get up, just get up. You don't have to wait till it comes to your blind. In limit, you know, blinds are essential. Because if you play a hand, take your big blind and miss a bunch of hands, that's a lot of money that you've lost. But in no limit, you're not really fighting for the blind. So if you're not mentally in the game, don't play. What was that for? Limped around here. And Boston did not raise it here with Jacks out of a small line. We're going to see a five way action here. Eight, seven, four with a couple clubs. Let's see how Boston's going to play this one. He's going to come out the lead, see where he's at. Yeah, he's going to bet 75. He doesn't want to take a lot of heat here. And Alex is going to call with 7 9. And now, if you're Boston, it's going to be interesting to see him play this the rest of the way. The turn's a five. Now anybody with a six would have a straight. Is Alex going to take it away from him here on the turn? Boston checks, and Alex checks right behind him. And the river is a four. And it's going to get checked around, and Boston's going to take it down there with jacks. You know, the funny thing about Alex is I like the way that, if you take that, you leave that board up there for a second. I like the way he's played it. I think he misplayed this hand, though. He's going to call that flop with seven nine of hearts with a two flush out there and a straight draw out there on the flop with people behind you to act. I think you got to represent something sometimes if your head's up against Boston. New player coming into seat six. That is Johnny. We'll see him for a few hands because we've got a few more hands. Limps around here. Five way action. Ace, ace, seven here on the flop. <laughs> Turn is a king. We're going to see a $20 bet here by Amir. And Amir is going to take it down here with a pair of sevens. I think we're going to see one last chip count here. Coming up. 
RX Cowboy Bell says I'm too pussy. I gotta be completely honest with you. Folding bottom side is more pussy ass than the Raiders. Uh, but he's gonna move over here to uh, seat number seven. And here we go with the ship count. So this is what we're at now. And let's take a look at how we did for the night. Henry, suck out king, master, up 2,000. Tony dropped about 2,600. Gore is back up into positive here. And Alex has still made a nice little session here with 1,300. Buttons over in Danny's hand in seat seven. And he's gonna, and Boston is gonna raise to 35 with pocket deuces here. Boston actually has pocket deuces here. It's called by King Jack and Ace 10. Not a great flop for pocket deuces. But he's gonna bet 75 here. Now Alex is gonna check column with Ace 10 off suit. Amir folds. Turns a five. Alex checks here. It's a third spade. Boston does not have spade. See what Boston's going to do here. You know, if Boston actually bet that. I don't think Ace Ten without a spade could call. And the river's a four. It's a third spade. And Alex is going to throw a little blocker bet in there. And uh, Boston's going to fold it. Well, folks, this is going to be the last hand of the night. Thank you very, very much for joining us on my solo mission down Live the Bike Fame. Button's going to move over there to seat nine. Alex. Last game of the night. Oh, Boston's going to lend in here with an ace four off suit. Three way action here. Nine, six, eight. And Amir's going to come out and bet. He's open end, and if he catches a 10, he's got the good straight. He's got the uh, nut straight. Actually, it would not be the nut straight, but it would beat any other low in seven. Actually, it would be the nut straight. No, Queen Jack would be the nut straight. Anyways, I've had enough. We're done. And that's going to do it for us tonight. Well, thank you very, very much, everybody, for joining me. Again, you can watch this show on a replay. I'm glad that everyone kind of had a lot of good things happen with the stream tonight. And you can watch it with an hour after the show, all the way up until 5 p.m. the next day. Catch it on Sunday. Sign up for the archives. Tune in tomorrow for 1020 Unrestricted Buy and No Limit. For uh, everybody here in the booth, I'm Bart Hansen. Good night, everybody, from Live at the Bike. Sean is here, is big, and is closer than you think. It's not a tournament. It's what you don't see on TV. The cash is real. The stakes are high. They bet big. They win big. They lose big. High stakes live action poker. Live at the bike. Watch it live on the web or play it if you dare at the Bicycle Casino right here in Los Angeles.